Welcome to Dwarven Forge. This is everything you need to know about our terrain in 60 seconds. Ready? Let's go. We hand sculpt our pieces for maximum detail and artistry, infusing passion into every millimeter of our work. Everything is available beautifully hand painted so you can start playing right away. Or you can choose unpainted to paint everything yourself. Our pieces are completely modular so you can use the same sets to create a new adventure every time. Most pieces have embedded anchor magnets that affix to our terrain trays for secure building and for revealing rooms as your players discover them. We create everything out of Dwarvenite, our top secret PVC formula that's nearly indestructible. We pack our pieces with as many features as possible, such as swappable LEDs to quickly change the look of your scene. We offer magnetic accessories to add flavor or increase the danger. A one-inch tactical grid is sculpted into our floors, hidden in dungeon flagstones, natural rocks, or sticks and plants. In addition to sculpted pieces, we make terrain trays to use as a vibrant graphic base for your build. We offer a range of environments, including dungeons, caverns, cities, castles, sewers, forests, mountains, streets, burrows, ice, and hellscape. And that's just the beginning. We have a passionate fan base who can tell you all about it. And that's everything you need to know about Dwarven Forge in 60 seconds. The games we play are the stories we create. The fortress doors swing open. Every story is unique. And the sound of war drums rises. Sometimes our stories come to us when we least expect them. We need to be ready no matter where inspiration strikes. And sometimes our stories are told over great distances. No matter where your journey leads you, or how your story is told. The games we play are the stories we create. Sirenscape can help make yours epic. Sirenscape is searchable, fast, and customizable from any device with no need to pre-install any sound. Adding epic atmosphere to your game has never been easier. Do you miss playing Dungeons and Dragons or just have a hard time finding a group in your hometown? Maybe you just wish you could play more. On Discord, we created a community of over 100 people who are playing D&D around the clock. I'm Noggins. Oh, Z. CC. Piotr Strongshield. Katarina. Elder Stevie Varbaba Negra. Tayam. Daria. Kostas Morach. Elros. Falfur Softfoot. Kita Swipe's fine. Let's fly around here. Misery Cordelia. Chardonic Oriel. Body. Class Fascinating. Bragor Iron Prime. Tom. Nabuti. Dimitri. Shalara. Barf Battle Brain. Atomic Scray, mate. Shortly Fridari. Warren Greenstone. Melina Lee. Isesh Morses. Malachi Dupraki. Saras Sklar Life Forger. Travas. Tamazar. Esmeralda Embershake. Elder Waddleby. Dustin Morses. And Morgan Reagan. Maxa Kitty. Sterling. By integrating Discord and DD Beyond, we're able to provide an immersive experience that is the first of its kind. You can create a character from 1st to 15th level and then roleplay 24-7 in our Discord channels while combating monsters, crafting weapons, training new skills, and searching for items across our campaign world. You'll also have the chance to participate in random combat encounters and go on monthly virtual quests. Ever wanted to try your hand at being a dungeon master? Or maybe you're an experienced dungeon master and just want the chance to run more adventures. As a community DM, you can run encounters and virtual quests for the community based on monthly modules written by our very own accomplished plot team. Join us. Join us. Check it out. Join the Discord. Join us. Join us. And let's create incredible stories together. Hey everyone, what look, the, that worked. That worked. 
<laughs> the mists are strong tonight. There we go. Hey, everyone. Wow. Welcome to episode 11 of Into the Mist, our official D&D Curse of Strahd campaign. It has been a heck of a weekend. Week, actually. Um, lots going on. I'll try and get through announcements as quickly as possible, and then we will go from there. First of all, as always, I want to thank Dungeons & Dragons for creating this incredible game that we play week in and week out. Um, I want to thank our three main title sponsors, our first one being Hero Forge. Hero Forge creates awesome miniature creation tools online where you can create avatars and order full color prints of your minis off uh, the interwebs, uh, as well as uh, print them at home. You can get STLs and you can paint them yourself and all of that kind of stuff. Amazing tool. Check it out at www.heroforge.com. All of our player character minis are uh, Hero Forge minis, except for Esmeralda, uh, which is a WizKids mini. But uh, check them out. I uh, want to thank Beetle and Grimms. They create awesome premium box set experiences for your tabletop gaming needs. Um, we have a bunch of them. We use the Curse of Strahd and Vin Richten's boxes in our game on a weekly basis. Check them out at beetleandgrims.com. And there's more information about how we're actually collaborating with them at GameholeCon coming up later in the announcements. Also want to thank Sirenscape. They have an incredible online tool for adding mood and sound and ambiance to your tabletop gaming experiences. You can check them out at sirenscape.com slash realmsmith. If you search for our name realmsmith in the search bar, we've created a bunch of product. And actually, Brandon has actually even uh, voice, done some voice acting as well for, uh, for Sirenscape in the past. Yay, so yay, Brandon. Um, and yeah, so check that out. Amazing, awesome service, and we're so thankful to all of those folks. Uh, D3 at Sea is coming up in March. We still have that awesome title. Uh, check it out at d3atsea.com. It's so it's bad. Now it's a now. thing. It just has to stay. Uh, it is basically D&D on a cruise ship. Um, myself and Omega are celebrity DMs, among others that are awesome people, including Mark Meir and Adam Bradford and so on and so forth. And Dave and, uh, and <laughs> Dave and what's your name again? Brandon. <laughs> Brandon uh, are going to be joining us on the ship, uh, not as DMs, but just they're coming and they're paying to be there to have fun and play D&D and have a blast. So it's gonna be awesome. Check that out. Um, Game Holcon is coming up this coming week. I am flying out Wednesday uh, and I can finally announce that we will be hosting the second live stream room from Game Hole Con, um, and we're very excited to do it. We are partnering with Six Sides of Gaming, uh, our awesome friends over there, including Tommy Gofton. Um, they're taking their whole rig over there, and we have full weekend of um, production and content for you all. Matt Lillard will be running Purple Worm Kill Kill, at fr on Friday from 1 to 4 p.m. with myself and Tommy and some other friends joining him. It's an awesome, fun experience. You can check that out. And then I will be running a special one-shot um, featuring Matthew Lillard and Tommy and others on the Saturday from 1 to 4. Around that, we have Actor Oki that we're uh, hosting with Peter Atkinson and the awesome stuff that they do there. Satine uh, will be streaming on the Sunday, uh, which will be awesome. And uh, Six Sides of Gaming has a ton of content surrounding their uh, Legacy of Mana game, which is a D&D um, campaign world that they've created, which will be streaming the rest of the time. I will be featured on some of theirs. Anyways, so check it out. You can find us on Realmsmith's Twitch and YouTube. You can find us on the Six Sides of Gaming Twitch and YouTube during the weekend to catch all of that Game Hole Con awesomeness. Um, Discord, Patreon, there's been tons of stuff. We actually spent this whole weekend going through the plan for next season. Um, for those of you that don't know, the Discord is a, a place where you can find out about role-playing games uh, and chat with the community of people who love Dungeons & Dragons, what we do here at Realmsmith. And then you can join the Patreon to support us, support the channel if you love what we do, but also gain access to our role play servers and play characters within our environment that affect the live stream and you can craft and you can do all kinds of things. We had an incredible three day planning session, um, multiple hours a day, very passionate, very awesome. Uh, and the Smith Guardians are actually here still. They are currently upstairs and you will see them in the break because they will be joining us for an awesome, some announcements. Um, and a little bit of a sneak peek at the Tides of Wild Mount season, which will be coming up soon. They're like little leprechauns. You, you kind of never see them, but they kind of show up and do 
crazy things and then they go away and was that your cue? I have no idea what. Yeah, he, he's just following the cue cards. Yeah, he's just, I'm just following that was not. the script. Did you not get it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways, they're incredible. For those of you that don't know who the Smith Guardians are, they are uh, the backbone of the creative for the Discord, and they moderate our channels, and they write modules, and they do so many incredibly awesome things, well beyond what we were ever, ever able to do for them. <laughs> Financially or anything, they they go well, 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 well beyond the Call of Duty, including coming to Canada all together during this crazy time to be able to be with us uh, since Thursday, and it has been incredible. Um, what I will say about Tides before we go is that uh, Christina will not be joining us for the next season of Tides. Uh, her filming schedule and all that stuff is super busy, but I would like to announce that Omega Jones, Critical Bart himself, will be joining us yeah. on the cast of Tides of Wild Now. Very excited. We can bring him on there real quick. Hey! Uh, so it's going to be awesome. Uh, and oh my god. We can all um, in the break, actually. So after the announcement for uh, Tides and when we have the Smith Guardians actually at the table with us talking about Tides, um, after that, we're going to have a, a hangout on our Patreon chat in our Discord channel where you get like a, a behind the scenes look. We chat with people while we have our break. Um, and maybe we'll talk about what we think Omega will be and play, and we can uh, talk about that a little so bit. Join the Patreon. Yeah, so if you want to join us in that chat, join the Patreon at any level, and you'll have access to that chat in the break, uh, which is one of the awesome benefits among many, many others of being a part of the Patreon. Uh, we will also be doing a Halloween event f on Patreon on Halloween. It will be a trick-or-treating themed event, so stay tuned for more information on that. And you'll be able to get really cool items and so on and so forth. Um, Champions of the Realm is coming up this coming time. We can we, we showed it at the beginning of the stream. I don't know what's happening again over there. Uh, all kinds of visual funkiness. But if we can show that again, let's roll it. I don't think there's any green in that shot. So we should... <laughs> <Hello. laughs> yeah, yeah, Champions of the Realm. There's no audio on it. There's supposed to be audio on that. But anyways. Yeah, there is. You have audio, yeah. Oh. Anyways, that's champion. That's the new branding. This is the old branding. That was the new branding. Um, we're currently going through the brand exercise of creating all of the assets. We've announced that Matthew Lillard will be playing Beetle. Um, we've also announced, announced that Laura, uh, Nora Ibrahim, man, my brain, three days of planning. Um, this should be a great session. Uh, <laughs> Nora Ibrahim will be playing Esmeralda, of course. Uh, Omega Woo! Jones will be playing Hugh Man, which is literally three kobolds <laughs> in a trench coat. Uh, nice, and that'll be awesome. Nice. There are many more coming, uh, eight in all, eight combatants. We will be announcing those as we finalize them, and it will be coming this fall, later this year, before the new year. And we're very, very, very excited about that. Um, Thanks again, of course, to our Smith Guardians. Uh, we've talked about that. We can thank them big time um, in the break. And uh, the Realm Watchers, who are uh, the moderators within the Discord community and do a lot of extra work for us. Uh, we sell merch. If you want to join uh, or help to support our stream, merch like this. This is my Gaziel Thunder Smite shirt. Uh, limited edition now, because she's not going to be on the stream for this season. Uh, but anyways, check it out. Below the video, you can uh, order merch, and that's one way to support us. Uh, we will be rolling out some new merch soon for a lot of new stuff, which is exciting. Aftermath this week may be live from Game Hole Con. We're trying to figure that out because we're not absolutely sure exactly what will be happening during that show. If you like what you see tonight, subscribe, share, follow on Twitch. Without further ado, let us venture into the mist. Into the mist.
Ha! Welcome back. All right. Last we left you all, you were in the Amber Temple. You yeah. came here following a um, Dusk Elf by the name of Casimir. Um, he was coming here to gain knowledge on how to raise his long-dead sister um, as it is believed that the Amber Temple has information, ancient, powerful information, of how to do such things, including how Barovia came to be, how the mists came, how Strahd became a vampire. All of that stuff is encased within this temple. There was a tussle last session. Casimir fell, um, and we found out some interesting things, potential interesting things, about Travassa's heritage and who his father might be after an encounter with Rahadin, Strahd's chamberlain, um, and number one general. Ra, ra, Rahadin! Really? Just, yeah. The... Uh, <laughs> as you all, f many of you fell and rose and fell again and rose and fell again, you mm. guys decided to retreat back into the room that you were in originally when you came into the temple um, and decided to take a long rest and uh, rest your weary, broken bodies. During that night, some of you had nightmares, some of you had visions. We've covered them. Uh, if you haven't seen those, watch last episode. Um, but you do gain the benefits of a long rest, and you are now finding yourselves coming to after that eight-hour period. Um, level nine. Not <laughs> level nine. Level nine, no. <laughs> what no. do you do? I just go back, reverse. You set revert. it up like that, no lie. <laughs> it's like, uh-oh. Uh <laughs> what do you do? <clears throat> can I, can I, is there a, oh. The keyhole or any gaps around this door that I can look through. This door. Door uh, number two. Yeah. Door number one sucks. So there is no keyhole, but there are slight gaps around the door you could potentially try. Give me an investigation check. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. I thought you were going to say intimidation. I was like, dog that door through. 21. 21. With a 21, um, you see through a tiny little kind of crack in the side of where the door closes or meets the wall or the door jam. Um, and you see that there is a faint green glow in the hallway beyond. You can't make out any shapes or anything like that, but you can see a green glow that undulates and slightly there's some movement to it. So it's not like it's something on the wall. It seems like there's something that is kind of moving in the hallway that is glowing green. I'll just uh, nod to myself on a maybe not that way either sort of way. Yeah. Um, can I check? I don't know what everybody else is doing. I'm just jumping in. Can I go and take a look at the crevasse? At, at, yeah. And see if there are footprints that have left from our three friends that abandoned us. Yeah. Can you give me a perception check, please? Okay. Yeah, that's a 10. Okay. With a 10. You kind of look out the space, and you see a silhouette of a person. Darkened, hood up, and you get the sense that this person is actually familiar to you. <laughs> Father? No. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm uh, kidding. Um, reminiscent of one of the Vistani, in fact. No. You know this person as Ludari, and at this point, he doesn't know because I wasn't going to ask him off camera because he would say no because he is shy. But at this point, our longest lasting Smith Guardian, who is upstairs currently, I'd like you to come down and join us at the table to play Ludari for the set yeah. Oh man. Uh, we got we got another chair. No, here, yeah, we're gonna, we, we're we gonna got, pop we got it on here. His... Oh yeah. We got one right here. You want me to pull this chair? We could all fall down. No, no. So there's a chair. There's a chair there that needs to come over. On yeah, this come side. on this side. On we're just side. Gonna have to all figure right. Figure out how to get, yeah. get it over we here. Just gotta get the stage hands to move so this. This is gonna be tough because oh. there's a camera here. Over there. I'm having to move back. Sorry, again. sorry, center camera. But this is coming through. Yeah, you're good, Brandos. Okay. All right. Brandon, oh. you're gonna have to scooch um, on over to Oh here. man. Pass that over. Oh, Get in. No. Yeah! yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm gonna kill 
you. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a threat, that's a promise. That is definitely a promise. <laughs> also, help us kill some others first. Yeah! Oh, your yeah, character is... sheet, sir? <laughs> <laughs> Shad, like I said, is, and I can't say this enough, Shad is, was one of our first, I'm going to get emotional, Shad was one of our first Smith Guardians, uh, woo! I'm good, I'm so good. Uh, it means a heck of a lot that he's here, um, he's had a really tough year, um, and I think he'd be okay with me saying that. Um, and, but what, the, the amount that he's sacrificed and the amount of work he's done for Realm Smith is unbelievable. And that goes for all the Smith Guardians. We couldn't fit them all in the studio. Trust me, <laughs> all day today, I tried to move cameras and add chairs. We couldn't add another four people. Um, but I wanted to make sure that we thanked and blessed Chad yeah. for being, uh, Ch Ch Chad, <laughs> Shad for being here. I'm, yeah, I'm good. I'm good, I'm so good, I'll be good. Yeah. Anyways, thank you, Shad, for joining us mm -hmm. uh, in the role of Ludari. Um, oh, as yeah. you step through, you see Travos kind of step in, someone who earlier oh. today you said you wanted to speak to, <laughs> not knowing that this would happen. Um, what do you do? Uh, I'm going to quickly duck back <laughs> and then poke my head out again, just to, just to see if it's actually me. Maybe take some snow and like rub it on my face from the, from the edge yeah, of the... Yeah. And just, like it's him. He's, he's, I mean, oh, it's he's obviously because yeah, he's sitting here now. Yeah, there's no question. <laughs> Uh, what's everybody else doing? Can, can I sneak out quietly? Can I slowly? Well, do we see? Yeah, do we see it? him doing the like you, the sneaky sneaks? Well, I don't know. Are you, you're trying to sneak out quietly. Well, at this point, well, give me I a stealth am. check, and then I'd like passives from you guys. At this point, okay. I'll go ahead and Yay. split the party in the Temple of Death. Fourteen. <laughs> it's a twenty-nine. Okay. Anybody have a passive higher than twenty-nine? No. Don't think so. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh, Ludari, give I me a uh, perception check because you are actually looking at him when this happens. <laughs> yeah. Are you trying to hide from Ludari as well, or are you trying to get out to speak to him quietly with him knowing? I'm going to quietly get out to him. I mean, he, okay. he's there. Yeah, okay. But He has like, already seen you. I mean, I I should, as Travas, do some check to make sure, like, it looks like him and it's not like some wavy, magical something. Yeah, I, I'd say, but for the sake that he's sitting at our table, I would say, I would say yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to metagame too hard, but he yeah. is here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There we uh, that. Just yeah. So we can get Chad. Yeah, back. totally. Yeah, Chad, you have to stay you, on camera. You, you, no, I you can't know. slowly go <laughs> <by>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Come on, you scooch in. On camera. I'm practically hugging Brandon here. <laughs> All right. Perception? So, what's that? Perception check, please. 31. 31. Okay, okay. so you should kind of start to sneak out, and there is no question that, um, yeah, there is no question that it is Ludari in the yeah, flesh. Yeah. And all of you don't notice Travas leave. Um, you're all kind of gathering your things and getting up and starting to discuss things. And as sneaky as I am, he sees me. He, like, yeah. With his oh, yeah. 31 yeah. on my 29. Yeah, of oh, course. Oh, man. Yeah. We don't see him leaving? No. And he went through that door. Yeah. We didn't notice the door no, opening No, you guys at were all was, kind of opening your things, and he kind of walked over, and you saw him look. But, like, you look away, and then you, he's not there. But freaking, freaking you don't notice gross. him at the, at the moment. 29, Joel, 29. I know. It's yeah. crazy. Uh, ow. I was just putting my armor on. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I guess I'm yeah. going gonna to pack out my bedroll and start, like, gathering from the corner, because I was in the, the far corner. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. I'll... <laughs> I'll approach him, like looking around, like, Ladari, my strad, why are you here? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Ludari, you were here. <laughs> <laughs> Madame Eva has been um, using you as a bit of a covert operative to kind of look into various areas within, kind of understanding some of the things that are happening in the greater scheme and in the background in Barovia right now. The Amber Temple was one of those places that she is trying to get gain information about the activity that is happening here. Um, and so you have come here for this reason, not necessarily knowing that the Dawnbringers were also here. Mm. So you can, yeah, he relays that to you. <laughs> Madame Eva has said to me, <laughs> but why here? Madame Eva sees more than we do. There's something here. Yeah, it's crazy in there. 
do I see everybody else? No, battered no. So, okay. so you're at you're you're a bit of a fissure that that kind of leads into the Amber Temple. Okay. Um, which you told was what you were told was here was a kind of a safer way to get in, other than the front door. They figured that out. Um, but you only see him. I would say th- through the fissure. As you kind of make your way a little bit in, you do see some shapes inside, so you do know that the rest of the Dawnbringers are here, okay. but you're not sure how many or, or what. So where are you going? If it is so bad in there, where are you going? I came, you, you're here. I came to see you. You're standing here, I was looking. Because we had some people, they left. They what left kind of us. people? Ah, there were three of them, wearing white, and we kind of trusted them. And then we went out, and most of us almost died. And then we came back, and they were gone. Would I know who they are? You said, well, what did you say, dressed in white? The three, the three people white. dressed in white. Uh, From everything going on in the camps. Yeah. He's a well, spy. dressed in white is tough. That's not a great description. She had a tattoo on the back of her neck, and then it glowed. Then yes, you know. <laughs> You trusted them? Uh, yes, we were all very um, thought about it, very hard, and uh, agreed. Yes. <laughs> the priests cannot be trusted. That's right. I thought that maybe not, but the other ones for sure thought we should Oh, so you're going to believe them? Uh, not. I was, no. It was me too. <laughs> 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 all right, back to the rest of the room. As you guys yes. are packing up, is there anything that you guys are doing while, while that's happening? Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, go over to Dimitri and go, like, it's, uh, we have to find the best way around this stupid amber room, uh. Well, I think the only viable choice is the other door. Yes, I guess. We, we can't go back around the building by going out the fissure, I guess. Right, but, and okay. I, I think this is the best entrance, or there are Nothing beyond the other door can't be as bad as what was in the that's first true. door. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Uh, Sterling, what do you think? Oh. Well, I wonder where the others have gone. If they went this way already, they may have cleared a path. Yes. It's true. That's true. Although they could also be in trouble. But uh, I think we should stick to the plan of doing our, uh, uh, or using arcane eye to kind of keep an eye out. Yes, right. And as um, Noggins is, uh, you see the, the the dome that he's created kind of to dissipate as he's standing up. Um, and, uh, well, some, okay, not that. Uh, I will be able to uh, see if anything um, magical, whether it's like, you know, divine or arcane or druidic, uh, I will be able to figure out if some of that stuff is around. Um, but, uh, I can't do it all the time, but I can do it sometimes. Uh, does that mean that you could follow, like, magical trails or something? Like, perhaps they left, uh, some kind of trail behind and we, we could find them. By the way, at this point, <laughs> uh... Please, DM, please let me see he's could, gone. Could I just... <laughs> uh, looking at the party around the room, like, where's the moment? Do I not notice that Travas is gone? Is yeah, he so counting the people? <laughs> is he so stealthful that I still I think he's still here? At this point? I would say that you look around the room and you notice he's not here. <clears throat> sure, you do a head count. You notice he's not here. Okay, but you have no idea where he's gone. Right. Fair enough. Yeah, he's just disappeared. So one, two, three, add four. It doesn't look like uh, one of us is. Wait, where's where's the Travis, the young man? Ugh. I think we used to him just, well, wait, no, sorry, that was you at first. Um, <laughs> people just tend to sneak away in this party, so it's kind of used, I'm used to it now. Yeah, on it, and I'll, I'll cast Arcane Eye and start looking for him. Oh, uh, good. Wait, you said how many, how many doors? So there's right, two doors. I, I, can, I can't see the model, how many doors are yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, so there's two doors out, uh, one door into the Amber Temple, the, the temple, Proper that you were in last session, and then another mm. door that leads into what you were told was a hallway with with skulls that are on fire that float, <laughs> and then the okay. fissure leading out. And then what? The fissure that leads out that you guys came through to get here. Ah, uh, I'm gonna go with that <laughs> option. 
Uh, I don't think he's going to go um, head first into a hall of flaming skulls alone. Thank you. So I'm going to I'm going to try. Uh, Especially with his daddy being around. Right. Yeah. Um, so oh, that's where I'm going to try first. Well, I was right next to this fissure, so there's no way he could have gotten past me. <laughs> mm. uh, investigation check. <laughs> for anybody who's starting to look for Travas. Okay. I will yeah, do sure. that. Doesn't make sense. Not I'm gathering my stuff. I don't do investigation. <laughs> I, do, I, do I roll that with, with my eyeball? Yeah. For my eyeball? Yeah, please. Okay. Ten. <laughs> Ooh. Hold on. Uh, investigation 20. 25. Let's go. Still not enough, right? 29. Yeah, still not <laughs> oh, enough. So you your jerk. eye kind of goes through the fissure. Are you trying I to remain <laughs> hidden? You can give me a stealth oh, check if you are. Probably. Big money. Oh, only a 19. Okay. So the eye comes through, and the eye sees a figure <laughs> standing in the kind of crevice at the mouth of it. Um, and you've met Ludari before, I believe, because, yep, so, Esmeralda, you recognize Ludari from the Vistani, who is just standing facing into the fissure. What the? Ludari is here. What? Yes. Ludari is here. He's in one of those two doors? Which one did you in send the eye for? On, in the fissure. Into the fissure. <laughs> <laughs> What's Lu Ludari is a is friend of ours from the Vistani camps. That's right. Oh, yeah, the elder people. Why is he here? I don't, I don't know, but he's in the hallway. He's in the fissure. And you don't see this eye. It's invisible and incorporate. Let me go check. I'll go through the fissure. Yeah. Yeah. Perception check. Oh, yeah. Actually, what was your perception check that you rolled? Ten. You searching? Oh man, something else. Are you making yourself unknown at this point? You hear them starting to say and talk in here. You hear the word Ludari. Yeah. And I'm okay. talking to him, so there's there's voices. Of... Okay, so you walk out, you don't see Travasa, you see Ludari standing at the at the mouth of the fissure. Ludari, you are here. I am. Oh. How did you get here? I walked. Yeah. It's quite a journey. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll poke my head around the rock at this point just to, to look over at, at Dimitri. Were you looking for our problem child here? You this, found him. Oh, you found him. You know, all of a sudden, you know, like, literally, Travas is right here. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, oh! You know who that is? Yeah! <laughs> <clears throat> well, uh, how did you? Uh, I thought I was... Okay. Well, come in, come in, but it's cold out there. you were just standing there looking at your shoes or something. I was looking at Ludari. Before inside, when I walked past. I was putting my... Well, all right. <laughs> Let's just get out of the cold. Yeah, yeah, come, come. Travas, after uh, you. Yeah, I'll, I'll uh, go in. Um, and I'll watch and I'll you carefully. As you <laughs> <say>. <laughs> uh, we, we should not have trusted uh, the people in the white. What? Just to be... Uh, totally clear, that was a mistake. <laughs> oh. well, how do you know? What did they do? It, Ludari told me. I don't know why. Oh, Ludari? Yes, but, uh, uh, sorry, Aldo. Aldo Ludari. No, no, no. Ludari is... Hi, Mr. Ludari! <laughs> ah, it's yes. a long oh, R with light is, and umlaut. This is uh, Elder Ludari Nuggins. Uh, he's from the Vistani camp. Nuggins? Yes, this is Nuggins. Hey, bro! <laughs> 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 Oh, he's a he is a friend, and a part of the Dunbringers. Nice to meet you, Noggins. I don't remember if I saw you at the camp when we visited last time, but if uh, mm, bad memory. Hi. Hi. Very bad memory. Very bad. Very bad memory. I remember when you suck. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it, 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 it hasn't been allowed. that long. <laughs> so, so, he's, so just a few he's minutes. He's feisty ago. after he gets a long rest, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> what do they see, Lugari, by the way? They don't put stuff up together. <laughs> <laughs> what, do, what do they see? If I can get a description. Yeah, so that you uh, see about a 5'7 drow elf um, dressed in all black, black hood, uh, holding a rapier. Hmm. What are you doing here? Uh, Esmeralda, Madame Eva has sent me. Apparently there is something here that needs to be found. Oh, we yes. might be searching for the that's same thing. That's why we're here. Yes. Well, while we're all here now, I will tell you, I did have a clearer dream last night of 
what our purpose should be here. Really? We are here. Wait, what? Yes. Yes, what, through the help what, of what, Morgans. What was it? What was it about? What happened? Tell me. Yeah. Yes. It was the voice of Argonvos. Oh, that! Oh, I remember that. Never mind. Continue. <laughs> Bad memory. He said that... <laughs> he said that we need to <clears throat> resurrect him, and this is the place where we can do that. When you say this is the place, you mean uh, the Amber Temple? You mean this room? You mean the fissure that we're in? Um, Not the, the Amber Temple The room would be general. convenient. Mm. This would be very convenient. <laughs> this would be. Okay, so why are we all in here and where are the people in white? Well, we just well, went through that door and that was bad news. Yes. So there's a very long balcony <laughs> and as a team we made it halfway and came back. Yes. Can you define mm -hmm. bad news? Um, we fire? died a few times. Lots of Almost. fire. Lots of fire. Lots. Electricity. Yes. That statue. Little pointy darts. Right, the statue. Mm -hmm. Oh, that thing. the yes. frog eating. Uh, he ate a frog. Yes. Yes. Uh, what? Also, our friend betrayed us, so we killed him. His dad ate yes. a frog. I, Wait, his dad? No. His father. This is not true. When you left camp, I'm you sorry, were looking I did not for take your dad. Notes but I have not found him yet. He's probably in the camp. He here. just says but your dad. But how does he know my dad? How would he know? Well, I don't know, but how do you know? Well, we surmise slightly based on appearance. I still don't see it myself. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's a spitting image. Chip Something. of the old block. Chip of the old block, yes. So yes. if the block was there, you'd see a chip right off of it. So are yeah. we voting? Two, a four, one against. Piece. How about it's everybody him. else? I will just vote present. <laughs> <laughs> I was um, technically there, but I was like trancing. It, it's, it happens. Um, bad, but bad memory. Okay. He, he thinks that he's not my dad, too. And then it's just Esmeralda to break the tie. No, he might be your, your, your but father. But you don't remember probably really bad eyesight, so. <laughs> no, I think that was your dad. Yeah. What? Uh, Casimir seemed pretty convinced. It was not. It's not. We are all related. Looked just right. like him. Had that same little smirk. It was so far but away. But wait, Travis, you're saying, and Dudari, you're saying that uh, Travis left the camp so that he could find his father? And now we are here, and this man says that he is your father, and you're saying it's not your father? There's something that's not connecting right. here. Well, I, I thought you left the camp to join the Dawnbringers. That's oh, what I so? heard. Uh, wait, are you saying you think one oh, of us is your strand. father? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, not it. It's not it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, I can't have seen the resemblance. Be probably problematic. Who, who is this man? <clears throat> He's... Not a good man. He's probably that describes half of this place. A, so a little more. Strong. He's near the top. If you pile all the bad people, he's really close to the top. Rahadin. Huh? Rahadin. Huh? That's his name. Rahadin, the servant of. Would I, and I would know who that is. Sounds yeah, like so. a noodle. Huh? Rahadin. Well, this explains a lot. What is explained? <sighs> what does it explain? Well. We have decided that it's okay if Ra 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 Ooh, Ra person isn't your dad, as long as you aren't like him. I'm not and like I him. I don't think you are. Thank we are you. not saying really? you are. Right. Thank you. I knew that in your heart you really like me. When Thank was you. the last That's time you did something that you weren't supposed to? Exactly. How far from How? the tree has the fruit fallen? Very far. Very far. I didn't also, even know the like, tree. Also, like we have a we have a three strikes rule, and you're already on two. So the dad being, I mean, it's it's gonna be one or the other. Which one is it? Which strikes? Two strikes already? I, don't, I, don't I bring so. you to Esmeralda uh, and vouch for you. <laughs> but uh, and this is this is what I get? Honestly, I I'm having a Noggins moment. I don't remember the two strikes. <laughs> I did shoot a fire bolt into his orchard. I'm sorry. And there might have been one. Green there. flame appears in my hand. Stop talking about it. That's right. We don't talk about it anymore. It doesn't even count as a strike. <laughs> yes, Noggins does seem a bit bitter. Not quite. Uh, the point is that we're all on a journey of learning, and uh, I've come very far. And uh, it doesn't matter who he is. I don't know him, and I would kill him if I had the chance. You would kill your father? I would kill this man. I don't know who he is. And if he was my father, I'd still kill him. Mm. Mm. What's important is that um, 
Dimitri had a dream about our 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 our, 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 our him, and uh, we might be able to revive him um, here. And apparently, he might have like the power to like stop Steve or something. Yes, like isn't he a silver dragon? He is the most powerful one. Oh, we, um, could use, we could use a real ally here. Rudari there. What what were you saying about the people in white? That they were to be, weren't to be trusted? Yeah. Is that true? Yeah, the Vistani have been started working with them as well, and then uh, we found out their true colors. And, uh, and it's not white. Are the <laughs> okay, ones, it is the not cultists white. that they warned us specifically, very specifically about? Yes. Oh. Uh, the other ones I told you about that I said they're going to be here plotting against us, and then we decided, no! Uh, and how did doesn't. you know this, but the rest of them didn't? Well, I did tell them. I told all of them very clearly. After I went and talked to, I think it was Mr. Sussmore. Right, so but then we got to the room and you saw them and you did not warn us about it's them? The originator I of warned that you couldn't warn even survive. Went. <laughs> but, but they're standing there and you don't warn them? I did warn them. The f- when they they were all there? were like, oh, I still trust them. Give it some time, you'll see. Is that what you said? I'm pretty sure if I rewind the session. I, oh, I very clearly that, I said. <laughs> <laughs> there are cultists here summoning dark beasts. I said it. Summoning dark beasts. Crazy beasts, yes. Oh. And even before we left to come here, I told you. I put it in, in the Discord. I told you. To your I told you. <laughs> Many times. You put it in a what? In, in writing. So, so, good shit. so not reminding us when we finally saw them was At the moment when we were conversing with them, after we chose to trust them as a group, I did not bring it up again because I did not think it was them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. None of that's important. Thank you. We have to figure out. I'm not. I'm not defending you. Um, we we have to figure out um, what to do now that we're in this temple, and figure out how to get past the, the burning ring of fire, um, and we'll be fine. Yes. Yeah. I think it's door number two. Watch out for the three cultists. Yes, and the floating burning skulls. That is a. Creepy green light through that door. Creepy so yeah. it's not just the burning skulls. There is also a burning green light. The burning green light might be part of the skulls. We don't know yet. Mystery to happen. There was a burning uh, yeah. green flame at the entrance of the gate. Remember, maybe it's all part of the same. I don't remember that. Whatsoever. Oh, that yes. one! Yes, yes. That's a big gate. You, wow, yes. you really are totally useless. When you, I'm we just, really need your memory. I'm very excited that uh, the great Abdul Badari has joined us. And uh, now everything will be okay. I think we go through door number one again. You may not come okay. in a minute. Well, <laughs> we can see what's there first, but I'm I'm very certain this place is heavily trapped. Oh, right. So yes. we'll have a chance to see what is there, but then we still must proceed very carefully. Yes, agreed. agreed. Okay. I'll be oh. at the back. I learned some magic. Oh, dear God. Oh, God. Now is not the time. Okay, okay. Anyways, we need to go through. I agree. We should but proceed we, through. We send the eye. Yes, the eye, of course. First, the eye goes first. Yes. <clears throat> to, through the number two. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Everyone ready? That's right. right. You haven't even built this part. So, the plan <laughs> is that you're. Uh, what's the plan exactly, Esmeralda? Uh, we're sending the eye. Yeah. To to survey, uh, and I'm going to be doing my projector hologram minor illusion for everybody to see what's going on. Okay. Amazing. Uh, and then if anybody can check for traps while we're oh, proceeding. I'll do that. I'm very good. That would be amazing. <clears throat> okay. And I'll check for magic stuff. Yes. Great. Okay. Then we got all our bases covered. I'd like to know at this point where everyone is in that room that you're in, first of all. Hmm. And then... Um, yeah, and then who's opening the door and all of that kind of stuff. It's important. I'm very you... brave. I'm going to unlock it and check for traps. Maybe we get... Open uh, the door a little pinch. The f- we're not the doing it up. yet. Yeah. We'll figure out where we're at first. Ah, yeah. just idea. Yes. Just brainstorming. Yes. Uh, okay. Sterling. I'll stay where I am. Do you mind if I... I'm uh, still, yeah, I'm still next to the bonfire. Do you mind if I get on your back? Sure. Oh, by the way, 
Uh, Aunt Aunt Garviel uh, made me a very fancy sword, and I was wondering if maybe you had a chance to bring it. It was a very plus one magic sword. Nope. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. okay so who is next? Time. Okay. So Esmeralda, where, where <laughs> do you want to be here? Service? No, 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 okay. no. Are you opening the door? Uh, I think Travas is checking for traps. Yes. Okay. And so you're checking the door uh, for traps. Yeah. I think either I I'll be right behind Travas. I should be in the front or somewhere in the front because the eye is 30 feet ahead. Can we, can we pause really quickly? Yeah. Are we going through the door or are we going back around to the front door? We mentioned both. Did we make a decision? I think we're I opening think... number two, just the crack, letting the super magic eye through, shutting the door, and letting the dog yeah. yeah. I just wanted to confirm before we, okay. Yeah. We're, then we'll reassess before moving forward. Yeah. yeah. Investigation cool. check for oh, checking for yes, traps on the door. Sir. Yes, sir. Big money. Um, mm. That's and during all this, Jason, just so you yeah. know, I'm starting to ritual cast to tech magic. Okay. Uh, it's a 15. Is it terrible? 15? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, it doesn't seem to be trapped. Uh, and this is double doors. Um, mm. oh. And you can tell kind of by looking at it, on this side, they're like uh, wooden, ancient wooden doors, heavy. But you can see that the other side of them she seem to be sheathed in amber. So half the, on the outside of the doors, you can see that it kind of stops sort of in between the doors, and the outside of the doors leading on the other side are, are, are sheathed in amber. Sir, I have a question for yes. you. Uh, in this world, yeah. uh, is there any special purpose to amber? Is it like an insulator? <coughs> is it a nature check? magic something there? Or arcana, if you're looking at the magic side, if you're looking more at the... At the Golly, to be honest, I'm not great at either, but I'm gonna go with arcana. Uh, sorry, 10. Um, Would I? Hmm. Yeah, sorry. So, no, you don't know of any specific thing, but um, let me just think real quick. No. Uh, no not, not that you know of. Why? Would I be able to do, oh, go ahead. Yeah, no, no, as, as I pick, pick hmm. at the law, the, or There's whatever, no law. As, yeah. I, as I yeah. examine it, I'll, I'll say aloud, there is amber on the other side. Why is everything covered in amber? <laughs> There must be some significance to Amber. And as I'm thinking back on any of the books, any of the the teachings I've had growing up, yeah. um, on if there's any significance sure. that I can recall. So either history, if you're looking at the history kind of of Amber and usage, mm -hmm. or Arcana, if it's more a use in magical kind of circles. Uh, okay. When he says that, Go though, ahead. sorry, real quick, uh, Noggins, you remember your dream from last night. And oh, Amber, I haven't forgotten. Yeah, and Amber, you know, being a, a obviously clear point, as well as your dream that you had recently too. <clears throat> Amber being a very clear feature. Mm -hmm. both um, feature, feature in both your dreams that you guys don't haven't told anybody about. So just nope. so we know, and we're clear. Uh, I'll just say that as as they are talking about the Amber, and I'm starting the ritual cast. Um, you, Noggin just randomly says, "I mean, I know Amber is like good for like balancing emotions and clearing the mind and." dealing with negative energy, but that's like in a druidic sense. I don't know if it, what it means here. We had some negative experiences. I don't know if it's the detracting any negative energy. Mm. But kind of that's very interesting, though, that they would use this. Got to be. Okay, what role was um, that? I rolled a 22. That's cool. Ooh. And what, was it historical or was it? Arcana. Arcana. Um, Arcanical. You, yeah, so you know that Amber, um, and from the the study and the and the writings of Van Richten, you remember very clearly that amber in the Amber Temple is actually used to encase the shards of the dark gods that are pr imprisoned here. Oh, you know what, Noggins? I think you're right about the negative energy because I remember learning about the amber in this temple. Encasing the dark, the, the the would you say the shards of shards of, of, of old dark gods, dead of dark old gods. dark gods. If if the amber is encasing, then you're right. Wait, sorry. They're like the stuff in here is like encasing shards of, of dark gods. So like smashing it all of it. So good. so you might you might be right if that's. If it's holding, if it's able to hold something in. You can tell that Noggins is thinking heavily about something. He hasn't spoken about it, though. He just will go back to ritual casting. 
the vast speaks and then thinks. Very different. Another mm. component. <laughs> so true. Another component of my dream was that Algon Vost burst through the ember. That was part of my dream, sir. Do you think that perhaps if the darkness is holding the bad or dark gods in, that perhaps it's keeping the good gods out? Or maybe, maybe it doesn't just apply to dark gods. Maybe the amber can encase anything. Yes, anything powerful enough that would require amber of such greatness to contain it. But there is wooden doors. Oh, it's amber on the inside. Yes. While inspecting, because the the eye's still in there, do is there any writing? Yeah. So, on so the walls, I, can I inspect? You, you haven't yet opened the doors. He investigated yeah. it. So uh, now, if you'd like to open the doors and set the eye through, you can absolutely do that. Yes, I would like to do that. Just the cracky crack. Okay. Just. So I'm very quietly, very quietly, opening the door uh, an inch. Is that check. How, however big yes. your eyeball is. Yeah, an inch. Come on, big money. <laughs> 12. Okay. So you open the door just an inch, and the eye goes through, and you shut it really quickly. As you go through, you start to project your illusion. And what you see is that the walls of this 20-foot-wide, 70-foot-long arched corridor are sheathed in amber. The southern hall, sorry, the southern half of the hall is scorched by fire, and a charred corpse that you can see lies on the floor here at the end, under a burned fur cloak. Mm. Several amber doors lead from this hall, and three arrow slits are cut into the east wall, um, which were the amber slits that you saw from the other side of the, of the temple. Mm. Uh, floating in the middle of the hall are three skulls wreathed in green flame. Um, and as soon as the eye comes through and the door closes and, and, and you see like the light of the, sh- uh, the, the torchlight from the room kind of close, because you're looking ahead from behind you, you watch the skull, one of the skulls go, start to and it starts to blur uh, and move and kind of flit around and you're having a hard time kind of understanding where it is and then the other one goes and starts to blur as well and now they're they're both kind of really hard to discern exactly where they are within this hallway as they kind of one face the door and begins to blur the other one then faces the door and begins to blur and this all happened when the door closed? Yeah, when the door opened and closed. Hmm. Well, everybody uh, j- everybody can see this because of the yep. minor illusion. Yep. What do you think that was? I mean, look at them. They're kind of like shaking and crazy. Yes, I think they've detected what? us on the other side of the door. Sorry, I could have been a little quieter. Or perhaps, perhaps... That's always the case for all times, yes. When we were, uh, yes. Remember when I walked out said, of the uh, door in front of all of you and nobody saw? <laughs> How could I? Right. Uh. But seriously though, um, this, th- these could these be the things that attacked us from, from when we were inside? They were attacking from outside the arrow slits. Uh, I think so. I think could you're be. right. Yeah. That does make sense. But then who was that corpse on the inside? It's not one of them. Distance, is it? I don't know. Can, Does, can I take a closer? If, if, yep. Can I tell what color it used? If there's any color left, or is it all charred? Yeah. So as you kind of go through and you pass these skulls, and they're just kind of how, you, again, they're like blurred, and all you see is kind of like a green glow, and sometimes they're one place and then they're another, and they're flitting around as kind of your eye goes through. And as your eye approaches the back hall, the back end of the hall, you do see a charred corpse appearing to be maybe wizard robes or the remains of some sort of wizardly caster. Um, and you see that in this charred corpse's hands is a staff. Mm. Uh, and the staff appears um, to have some sort of ice motif is, to it. Uh, um, can so we... not one of the cultists that we see seen earlier, not the same robes, no. right? No. This is quite a like a, a um, flamboyant kind of robe, like lots of colors, designs. <laughs> <Gay>. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I saw that. Coming. <laughs> <laughs> Dibs. 
<laughs> Morgan says. <laughs> Why do you always get the good things? Oh. <sighs> Oh, <laughs> How long dead does it appear to be? Um, not that long. Um, I'd say medicine check with disadvantage because you're looking through a. You're not actually. Okay. At the body, um, mm. looking at it, you're looking through an illusion in a room. It's dark. Uh, it's Okay, with disadvantage, that is a 16. Okay, with a 16, um, maybe a few days to a week. Mm, so okay. somewhere kind of in that So not while realm. we've been here, I guess. Yeah. It's only um, a few days old. Mm. At least. The, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Wait, I didn't want to cut Brandon off, continue. No, that's okay. It's all good. Oh, oh okay, um, I was gonna ask very quickly. Um, the uh, the shaking that they're doing, the blurring, whatever, does it seem like um, they're like trying to go invisible? Does it seem like they've like there's a spell on them? Like, what is the vibe? Vibe check, please. Uh, insight. What is my plus? Oh, is they them? Or I'm Arcana. Like, if you're trying to figure out if it's some sort of magical effect, Arcana. If you're trying to figure out what their tactics are, insight. Tactics. Okay. Okay. Um, that is a fourteen. Okay. With well, a fourteen, you can tell that they're probably doing this to not be able to be targeted as easily. So it's some sort of defense mechanism to mm-hmm. allow to allow them not to be targeted okay. as easily. Can we uh, see to the end of the hall? Yes. So at the end of the hall, um, it's charred on the ground as mentioned. Um, there is a double door at the very end of the hall, double amber doors, and there are three doors along the left side of the hall. And it's uh, 70 feet long, I see. Can I just inspect each like uh, each door yep. to see if is there anything written on there? Is there anything? Yeah, they're, they're all identical door doors, all kind of um, sheathed in amber, but under you can see that they're very ornate kind of stone carved doors. I'll... If it's okay, I'll turn to Ludari and go, and you notice the staff there, Ludari, Elder Ludari. You, perhaps you have experience with uh, that particular frosty, icy staff. Have you seen that before anywhere? You're an elder after all, <laughs> much older than the rest of us. I think it is a that is rude. respect. No, it's, mm-hmm. it's not about age, it's about respect and position and the that hierarchy is, of society. That is what I assumed age was. <laughs> wow. So what I know about the staff? Uh, history check. History check. How good am I at that? Nothing. Oh, <laughs> I am not good at that at all. I have a four. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, you don't you don't recognize it. No, you all see this staff. Yeah. Um, and it looks like almost made out of ice, kind of carved out of rough ice, mm. with like leather wrapped around the middle of it with like leather um, a, th- a string holding the leather to it. Kind of a rough since hewn ice staff. Since it seems elemental in nature, yeah. has Noggins ever seen something like it before? History check. Esmeralda, you must have seen this thing. You know magic. Like crazy, like the best magic. Possible? Can I do an arcana check? Yep. Or That's a nat 20 for oh! 19. Oh! 20! <laughs> Um, you've heard of, <laughs> yeah, you've seen it and heard of it. I have a new, which it's was successful. Oh my. Oh, it's ice. Very nice. The ice motif dice. Yeah. Um, I ice will, ice. okay. Appropriate. Uh, yeah, it is uh, what you recognize as, and what you've heard of as a, a Staff of Frost. Ooh. Yeah. Mm. I rolled a 19. Would I know anything? Um, as soon as Noggins, do you share that information that you think that you know it's a Staff of Frost? Yeah, I would go, oh, yeah. I think I've seen that before. Somebody in my, and I actually paused. Oh, I've definitely seen that before. Yeah, that's a Staff of Frost. Yeah. Like a frosty, it, it, it does a lot of cold stuff. Uh, it's very rare. Um, and It's like very on theme, on theme for like yeah. how it looks. 
and obviously you know Esmeralda from as he says that you remember tales of Staffs of Frost, uh, and you know that it is for casters specifically, um, in use, and it does cold effects steel and spells it. and. I'm going to take you know steel. Ice. What I'm what I'm very curious about is if he brought this staff because it's just what he used, or whether there's something about it that's useful here. Mm. Or maybe it was just his um, weapon or something yeah. of choice. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering, if it's if it's one or the other. Does the body look like he was going in or coming out? He's charred. So we know the frost staff did not help. <laughs> right? <laughs> Otherwise... Although the staff, is the staff intact? Yes. <laughs> Oh, yeah. that good point, Ezzy. I mean, that's a very good. We point. don't, we don't, we don't know. <clears throat> you, you may be right. So it looks like he was walking in, though, right? He wasn't leaving and then died. He was walking in and then died. Uh, survival check. Yeah, we don't well, know exactly what we're dealing with. Uh, really. You're not sure. He's kind of sideways along the the hallway. Maybe he found it in there and he was leaving. That's what I would. Do. <clears throat> hmm. um, just based not off of sure. project. Chin. Would I think that we'd be able to take these skulls? Survival <laughs> <That's> check. <laughs> uh, take them as in take them? Take or them. Take them. Yes. Take them. Take them. Take them. Uh, I think he means take them down. Take Natural them. 20. Okay. Oh. oh. Die of Newt. Die of Newt. Die of Newt. Campaign's <laughs> over, folks. Sorry. Uh, yeah, so with a natural 20, um, I would say that you've heard of flame skulls before. Um, and they are the remnants of dead spellcasters. <gasps> oh. Um, who then rise and become flame skulls. Um, and y- you remember them hitting hard, and you hear that they can do fairly significant amounts of damage, as you've experienced, <coughs> but they don't last very long. Mm. Glass cannons. Mm. Wow. Wait, so... And he... Do you... Yeah, sorry, go ahead. I, I don't know, go ahead. I think if if we strike fast and we strike hard, we'd be able to, to take them before they can do any real damage. Maybe now, I should go first. Yes. Mm. Do you think perhaps if you get in there and you run to the other side and get that frost staff and you bring it back to a caster, that perhaps he can help us against the flame skulls, you know, ice, water, flames, burning. Okay. Here's the problem. I think I would have to run past them mm. or close to them. And I'd rather just try to kill them. Mm. They are a fair point. What, <laughs> what if we all get ready? Mm. Open the door, shoot, 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 close the door. Yeah, we yeah. Can do that too, I guess. Uh, well, I think it's a good idea. Yeah, it's not okay. a bad idea, I mean. Well, based on the fact that they're facing the door right now, I think they're ready for us. As soon as we Probably, open the door. Probably, yeah. Perhaps we open the door and be, uh, be on the other side and see what happens first. Oh. oh. What? I could use my sharp shooting skill through Sterling's legs, use him as coverage. I would be quarter covered. Don't use your friends as cover. What? That's We've been using him I like mean, this for the last. That's, that's kind of bad. what that's I do. I'm literally on his back for, right now. <laughs> this harness thing is kind of for that. Yeah. Uh, this is how we I work. I have mine. one question. I, I'm, I've got that. I've got that. Sorry. I'm sorry. You speak. I know. I just have one question. Uh, this is a question for the DM. Are the skulls all in a line? <laughs> Where are they next to each other? <laughs> yes, knowing your spells, Very folks, at home. <laughs> uh, they're on a diagonal, so <clears throat> one is kind of, the one on the left is a little further ahead, the one is about 10 feet back from it. But Just if I was, right. like, at an angle, would I be able to just... Not at this one angle. Square? So there's two or three? No, not yet. Two. Okay. Two? Two. Okay. Two. What if, I've got an idea, what if I open door number one and I shoot a little firebolt, I can do that now, over at one of the okay. pairs, and they will be distracted and look out of the other windows and then we open the door and shoot, 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 and close the door. Would it help if they were cloaked in magical darkness? Cloaked in magical darkness? No, no idea. Mm. <laughs> oh, so that they cannot see. Yes. Well, uh, we couldn't see them either, but they uh, couldn't see us. Yes. Uh. 
Perhaps we we don't battle at all. Maybe we just disguise or cover their eyes and we just walk through. They made a What's green the uh, the, the of diameter of the hallway? What's the what, sorry? The diameter of the hallway? Uh, it is... You better say big words, yeah. It's 20 feet wide okay. and 70 feet long. Oh. It's big. Okay. Big hall. Okay. So, Star- uh, um, we I mean, could, if we want to do like a, a darkness and I cast a spell that covers a wide area, we might have some luck with, because I, with the eye, I know the general vicinity of where they were. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I don't want to like be little, that's the word, right? Wait, be little, be little your efforts and stuff. Uh, but like, there's only like two of those things. And if this temple is really big, if we are worried this hard about these two small things, I'm scared about how much we'll struggle later on. Absolutely. Yeah, but you weren't here when I we was, died I three times the same in thing. the other room. He was. I was here Inspired. when you died. I guess tranced. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, that, I, I don't want any more encounters like that statue. Uh, can, can I please have your permission to open the door and shoot the uh, pillar and see if it distracts them? The pillar? Yeah, I want to shoot it out, like, want to shoot. They're not out through. that way. No, I know, but there's slits here. Oh, so when we went out last time, they went through those slits mm-hmm. and they shot at us. I'd like to make noise out there yeah. so that they look that way instead. Can you do it without Cause being Cause a distraction? Well, uh, there is a bit of yes and no. I want to, I don't want to be detected, but I want the to be detected. Exactly. So yes, maybe, I don't know. One way to know for sure. <laughs> I said go ahead. Why not? Go ahead. Okay. Try it. Everybody stand back. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to open this door, okay. just the peakiest little wedge. OK. <laughs> OK? Yeah. And I'm going to shoot this guy <laughs> with, okay. a, with a, with a firebolt. Yeah, OK. You're shooting the, corpse. the corpses where we can't see. You're shooting you, you, the, the corpse, corpse of Casimir. I'm shooting the Casimir jerk. Okay. Corpse of here. Uh, Corpse that, in here. Okay. <laughs> Corpse in here. Okay. Um, give me a um, stealth check to open the door quietly, well, and give me a performance check to attempt to make it loud enough so that you. Oh, not on the amazing. Oh. Sneaky peeky. Is it open yet? I don't know. You all don't even hear it open. Um, and then I also want you to make an attack. Oh, you want performance stuff, so yeah. Right? And then attack roll, please. Not for one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. uh, attack roll oh, no. then? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not with a natural no. one. Well done. No. No. That was no. literally the no. best roll they could have been. Uh, <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, right. yeah. That's awesome. I close the door again. Yeah. <laughs> Stealthily. <laughs> okay. Um. Did you do anything? Uh. <laughs> Not sure yet. He missed. <laughs> the door was closed, so open so little. Um, I want you to make a dexterity saving throw, please. Okay, okay, understand. Uh-oh. Um, is- evasion. <laughs> I'm back here. <laughs> I'm back here, so no bonus for me. Mm. Uh, it's a it's a 18 plus my whatevers. Uh, uh, 26. Okay, so. You you open it up and you're so proud of yourself for yeah. the plan, right? Yeah. And then he pulls back his arrow and you actually hit the edge of the of the door, yeah. rather than getting it through the yeah. the space, and it reflects back and you just move out of the way slightly and it ding, it sticks in the wall behind you. Yeah. And everybody sees this. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, great shot. Thank what, you. This what? not. Uh, what are you doing? I... That, that wasn't how you described it. It's very <laughs> different. Uh, then. Uh, how do you shoot backwards? <laughs> <laughs> I hit the thing. It's it's a uh, different plans. Anybody? <laughs> different ideas? Well, it seemed uh, like it would have worked. Yeah, yes, there were. I did not execute the way I had envisioned. <laughs> <laughs> that is, uh, sometimes those things happen, you know? You eat one pie and things don't go the way you would think. So, pie. do we just need to go uh, in and fire? It's, it's a different story, don't worry about it. It's sounding like an attempt was made and a failure was yes, imminent, so we right. might want to uh, just 
open Try the door. Try our best to get past these things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Open the door. Right. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Let's... Uh, I'm going to stand just soft to the side a little bit. <laughs> yes, yeah. just throw caution to the wind. I'm yeah. not very good at dodging. So. Okay, so place yourselves. Where mm-hmm. you, are, are you where you want to be? I'm going to be Travass, uh, where do you want to be? Will you open the door? Oh, my Travass. gosh. Uh, I'm thinking be? about it. Oh, okay. um, I... Uh, I mean, there's no point in quietly opening the door. They're looking at the door. Um, so, but I will, I'll, I'll open the door and uh, I'll be at the door. Do we all <laughs> ready, an, we all ready in action? Sterling, you should, you should you do whatever you like. There. Yeah, and I'm readying, yeah. I'm readying a firebolt yeah. down the hallway. Okay. So I want to zoop. What's the trigger? The door is open enough to get the firebolt through. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Number one. Yes. Uh, and uh, I make the slightest peek upon an enemy. Yes. I open, so I open the door, and as soon as I see yeah. this guy, yeah. pew! Okay. And then I will wait until my part uh, to know who else is shooting. Then after those people have shot, I will shut the door again. Okay. Um, I guess that's kind of like holding two actions. Yeah. Well, sure yeah, so I'd say op- well, opening and closing doors are actually free actions within movement. Thank you. Um, so that's okay. I'll allow that. Um, any, any other ready actions? Yes. Yeah, uh, I would like to ready Sickening Radiance. Yes. Okay, what's the trigger? Let's go. Uh, as soon as I see skulls. Okay. Mm-hmm. Not our skulls. Yeah, I'm going to shoot through uh, as soon as I see skulls, too. Okay. If uh, a skull... Crossbow. Uh, yeah, my magical uh, vision ad card. I'll, I'll harness myself over Sterling's shoulder just yeah. b- so that I can shoot from his shoulder. <laughs> do you have dualies? I think. <laughs> yeah, I have dualies <laughs> behind oh. his side. Either side of the head. <laughs> if a skull comes within melee range, I'll, I'll hit it with the sword. That's okay. The spirit. All right. We're ready? I'm going to do uh, so yeah. ready. As ready as we will ever be. You're ready, uh, fairy fire. Yes. Oh, and because I drop, I drop so. arcane eye as soon as he opens the door. And do. and um, as if I'll be a little a little ways away, I have a good perception so I can see through. But the minute I see skulls, uh, I'm going to um, open up the veil and cast fairy fire on the two of them. Okay. Well, uh, Ludari said he, he's casting fairy fire as well. You guys don't oh. know that. You haven't communicated. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I did not okay. hear Ludari even say that. Never mind. I'm standing back. I'm okay. watching. Can you not okay. double double? Sure, you could fairy, fairy fire. Fairy, yeah, you fairy, fire fire. Fairy, if you guys are communicating, you can fairy fire each one of them if you want. Uh, well, it's a cube. Yeah, it's a cube, cube. So never mind. Right. Never mind. <coughs> nope. Nope. We're good. We're okay. Good. I, We're good. I just want to provide further details on the way, the manner in which I open the door. I okay. do not stand in front of the door and open it and stay in yes. front of the door, just Travas right. protecting the party. Right. Like the way it's I wish to be as covered by the door as, as possible. possible to fire safely and not get. Mm. Okay. Uh, so place yourself exactly where you're going to be here? when you open the yeah. door. Yeah. With okay. precision. And and everybody yeah. review your positions and tell me where you are. Okay. Please. I'm here. And make sure that you're okay. Esmeralda, right now you're here. Yep. Falfer and Sterling are here. Yep. I'm on Sterling's uh, back. Nogs is over here, and uh, the meats is over here. Noggins, you said you were further back, mm-hmm. correct? And I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand back since they're already and stuff, and I'm not gonna be useful because the so thing I'm just ready is fire. You just want to be safe, safe way over here. No, no, I'll be in the back. No, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, like right you're, there. You're, you're observing. You're the official yes. obs- UN observer here. Okay. You're welcome. All right. <laughs> Are we good with that? I'll be closer to the door. Okay. Where's Ludes? Oh yeah, we need a mini. We need it. Who's the Ludes? Sorry. Yeah. Ludes. Okay. Where is the ludicrous? You need to use that for Ludari. Ludari. Oh, Ooh. look at how bad you look. Oh, nice. Okay. All right. Where, where you at? Here Closer okay. to you. Oh, Ooh. yeah, yeah, up here. Yes. Nice. Okay. Okay. All right. So, ready to open the door? Open the door. You count. Three, ready. Two, one, one, two, three. Open the door. Yes. That triggers the ready to actions that, they, that the skulls had. Yeah. And then we're going to go through, and it all happens at once. Okay. As you open the door, you watch as a small f- streak of flame begins to flame, to, to streak across the hallway in the direction of the open door. As it enters the door, it explodes and ignites into a fireball in the room. Oh. Mm. Then you also watch as a ray of fire fires in the direction, hitting the first person who is in line, which is Ludari. <gasps> So the first thing is going to be a fire ray. That is not going to be enough to hit for sure. 
but now I am going to roll for the fireball. I need you all to make a deck saving throws, please. Are we all in the area? Yeah. 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 Oh, can I counterspell it? It's then? a small room. What? And because it's third level, it goes out. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Sweet. Yes. Yes. Sweet. Woo. Nicely done. Let's well go. done. Move of the match. Nicely Sponsored done. by. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> I need ready to actions. So let's start to the left. It will go around the table. So I'm going to wait till, till Sterling goes. Okay, go, Sterling. All right, so I attack with my crossbow, and that is a 22 and a 26 to hit. Those are hits. Nice. Okay. And so I do, oh shoot, that's not good. Um, five <laughs> points of damage with the first arrow, and six with the next arrow. Okay. Um, crossbow bolt, I, I should say. Can't. One second, sorry, I can't. Um, we're on an initiative app, so I can't actually use the tracker. Okay, sorry. So, how much damage is that? Eleven total. It to which one? Any of them? Uh, the one on the left. Okay, and what kind of damage is that? What kind of? Uh, uh, it's yeah, it's damage? magical and piercing. Okay. Mm. All right. Mm. So I had rolled a nine to attack, but I'm going to use a luck point to re-roll. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and that will be. And I get to choose. I didn't know this before, but uh, yeah. So that's seventeen to hit. That's a hit. Okay. So that will. Oh, be... sorry. I'm really sorry because they're blurring. It's disadvantage. Ah, okay. Okay. Okay, so not seventeen necessarily. Uh, let's find out. Oh, mother heifer! Uh, <laughs> nine to hit. That's not a hit. Okay. Sorry, Sterling. You also have to. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, one of my rolls would be the same. The other yeah. one would be the same as well. Okay. I done. Okay. Good. So you still done. At 20. Eleven points of damage. Ludari. Yes. So I'm going to cast fairy fire. Okay. Is that a check on my end? Uh, yes, dex. Uh, dex save, uh, and that is a uh, 14. No, sir. Not enough? Not enough. Okay. All right, can you read Fairy Fire yeah. real quick for the f folks at home? You, you may need to do both. So it's each object in a 20-foot cube within yep. a range is outlined in blue, green, or violet light, your choice. Uh -huh. What's the DC? 15. Okay, so second one succeeded. Okay. Mm. Uh, any creature in the area when the spell is cast is also outlined in light if it fails a dex saving throw for the duration. Objects and affected creatures shed dim light in a 10-foot radius. Any attack roll against an affected creature or object has advantage if the attacker can see it. Okay. And the affected creature object can't benefit from being invisible. Okay. What color? Violet. Uh, nice. nice. Yes. That's what I was going to pick. If I were you. But, uh, okay. So. Um, uh, yeah. Okay. Violent. Just trying to figure out how blur would affect that. I don't think it would, but what I'm going to say is it's, oh. it, it negates it. So, so it, you, yeah, no advantage or disadvantage. Right, but at least it's a straight one. roll. Yep, 100%. 100%. That's good. That's uh, good. Noggets. I did not hold you anything hold. because Esmeralda. I'm a boss. <laughs> <laughs> Esmeralda. Um, I held a sickening radiance. Yes. So they got to make a con save. Got it. If you can, uh, while I'm making that save, if you can just read its effect. Sure. One moment. Uh, dim greenish light spreads within the 30-foot radius sphere centered on a point you choose within range. The light spreads around the corners, and it lasts until the spell ends. Oh, so this lasts 10 minutes. Dang. Wow. Okay, great. Uh, when a creature moves into the spell's area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there, that creature must succeed on a con save or take 4d10 radiant damage, suffer Ooh. one level of exhaustion, and emit a dim greenish light in a 5-foot radius. This light makes it impossible for the creature to benefit from being invisible. Wow, Got good it. job. Light. Nice, nicely the done. The light and any levels of exhaustion caused by the spell go away when the spell ends. Mm. Um, the first one failed. The second one um, is a 16. What's your DC? Oh, DC's 14. Okay, so second one yeah. succeeded. First one failed. Okay. Okay, sickening ray uh, there's on the first one. Two, there's two of them or yeah, three? Yeah, there's two of them. There's two? Oh, okay. So yeah, let me roll some damage. Well, 21. it's when they start their turn they take the damage, right? E I think that's what you said. So we'll wait until the turn. 
when it moves into the spells for the first time or starts its turn there, yes. Yeah, it hasn't moved so in. So it'll, yeah. it'll take it, uh, 21 points of radiant damage oof. when it starts its turn. Okay, all right. Awesome. Uh, it's amazing. It's an amazing spell. <sighs> Fifteen hit. I, I cast uh, I cast firebolt, but uh, it's a flaming skull. So uh, yeah, fifteen. That's a hit. Okay. And uh, oh, it's a it's gonna be two damage. Okay. Mm. Uh, and you watch <laughs> as when it hits, it yeah. just <laughs> over the other side of it. No yeah. Effect. Yeah. I. Uh, and then I think uh, yeah, fire is probably not the best choice for something that's on fire. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> um, <laughs> you have a you just, if they move if you look back, later. you can see Noggin yeah. shaking his head. <laughs> <laughs> not, and at this point, if everybody can roll initiative. Oh, oh, hey. oh my. I gotta change my light red too. You can't. But I cue me. I've had it a long time. I also closed the door. 21. Again. Yeah, you close the door? Because you said you. That's what I said. So I'm gonna open. We beep, 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 shut the door. Okay. Uh, Ooh, which does go. It, which I know it's not good for us. I'd like to not do that. Uh, you know. Uh, as a ready action, though. Oh, that yeah. is not actually your turn. Uh, I'm gonna say you shut the door on your turn. If you're, when your turn comes, you're able to shut the door. At this can point, I, can I choose not to do that and not give them? You can maneuver. choose whatever you want to do when your turn. Yeah, comes. I'm gonna. I'm gonna at this. Uh, you know, upon opening the door and seeing this <coughs> hail of fiery death come towards us. Yeah. I'm going to not give them that opportunity again and leave the door open. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right, Sterling. All right, um, seven. Okay, Dimitri? Six. Wow. Falfer? Seven. I can hold. Oh, Esmeralda? 21. Noggins? 22. Oh, nice. Wow. Travas? Nice. 15. Uh, Ludari? 19. Ooh. Flame skull and start. Okay. All right. Noggins, you are up. Esmeralda, you are on deck. What do you do? All right. So we have these. Th- are they flying in the air? Yeah, they're or floating they, above, they, the, above the ground. Yep. How? How? Like how? Um, how high? Uh, probably about five feet off the ground. Almost like human height. Oh, I'm thinking they're like maybe like. Okay. Yeah. No. Uh. Okay, yeah, do we want a friend? Do we want a friend yet? Does he want to play? He wants to play. Uh, I pull out um, my rose and I tap the end of my uh, sickle. Yeah. And I say, um, Spike, you, you you have a friend. Go fight it. Um, and Spike's going to jump through the hole that I slash open uh, in, in the area as I cast Summon Fae. Nice. Um, as an action. Uh, and do I, before I move on, do I have any bonus actions that make sense for me? I do not think so. Cool, yeah. So as I summon him, he's going to run. He has 40 feet of movement. Okay. He's going to run straight out, sword, sword in hand, ready to just pummel. Yeah. Um, and he's going to be... Mm. 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 He's going to be mirthful, actually. And okay. what he's going to do is he's going to start to run. Yeah. Bonus action, blink to the back behind the second one. Okay. Um, he has bonus actions. It's ridiculous. And he's going to attack. Um, and I'm sorry, no, he's not. As he does that, that, that creature in the back needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Mm. Um, 17 is the DC. Passed. Yeah. Is he doing this outside of what? that circle? Passed. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, is he, I, no, he's within that circle at this point. The radius. What, what's the radius on that circle? Uh, it's 30 feet. Yeah, he, he's definitely within it. Oh, that's fine. But Spike is a boss. Um, okay. uh, so he passed. That's fine. He'll get attacked it then. Uh, and I'll need to make a, a save from you, you said. Um, is it you say con? Yeah, it's a con save. Uh, that is a 16. You're good. Great. Um, he's going to attack. Does he get one attack or two? He gets one right now. Got to cast it at third level. Uh, that's going to be uh, 21 to hit. What kind of damage is that? It's going to be uh, 
lots of stuff. One second. I'm assuming a summoned spirit doesn't inna- innately do magical damage, correct? I would say no, unless it says it does. I don't know the answer to this question. Yeah, which I don't is think why I'm so. asking. I don't think so. Not unless okay, it I don't think so says. either. Yeah, we'll look at it yeah, after. Exactly. So. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, so that's fine. Oh, that's gross damage. Uh, that's even. Okay, great. Four plus three, seven points of piercing damage plus two points of force damage. Okay. That's his turn. Um, so, and, and it's the second one? The, yeah, the one, yeah. You said it was one that was slightly behind? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that's the one he's going to go And after. that was seven points of piercing and how much force? Uh, two points of force. Okay. Um, Spike re- uh, recognizes that the first hit didn't seem to affect it as much as he had hoped it would, but the Uh second did. The force damage did penetrate. Um, He can speak, so he's going to scream like Donnie from Wild Thornberries at me (laughs) and Sylvan, (laughs) and I'm going to say, uh, they didn't really get affected by the piercing damage, unless it's magical, probably. That's my turn. (sighs) Okay. All right. Esmeralda, you're up. Ludari, you're on deck. Okay, I still have Sickening Radiance uh, on as concentration, so I'm going to hit one of, there's one skull left. No, both of them are still there. Both of them are still there? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna gonna hit one of them with a Firebolt, but uh, uh, I'm gonna bonus action um, a Blade Song first. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna hit him with a Firebolt. That is a 25 to hit. It hits, no effect. And I say, the fire oh, doesn't fire. work, remember? <laughs> well, because I counterspelled it with a fireball, I thought it might be able to take fire damage, mm, but... Yeah. All right. Rip, indeed. <laughs> that's it, that's my turn. Okay. All right, uh, Ludari, you're up. Travasa, you're on deck. How far away are we from them? Uh, currently, you, being just inside the door, are 10, 20, 30 from the closest one. 40 okay. from the... Uh, Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go in the one, yeah. to the first one. Okay. Uh, I have a plus one rapier. So okay. go in. Yeah, I'm going in. Yeah. So he's in the hallway. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, you were in. Yeah. So the first one that I hit is that the one that has the violet light over it, or is yes. that the one in the back? First one is the one that, you ha- that has the violet light. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna take an attack with my rapier. Okay. And I got a nat twenty for a thirty. One to Let's hit. Let's go. That's wow. a hit. Very nice. So my question to you is at all dice, including sneak attack, that you get full damage and then you roll? Uh, not the sneak attack, just just the actual uh, damage. Wait. I think it's all dice, I right? I don't know how I've done this in the past. Um, what was the question? No, with our, special, uh, with our special crit rules, it's full for the first, I would say no, the sneak attack is not, does yeah. not get it, Okay. but you would get the first full, the second, yeah, yeah, you know the deal. Yeah, uh, 821, 53 points of magical piercing. What? Oh, but it's piercing. Magical piercing. Magical okay. magical piercing. Okay, so, yeah, so you rush up on this thing, uh, and you hit it, and it <laughs> disintegrates. Um, and, but you are in the sickening ray radius. Okay. How, well, uh, does he need a con save? Yep. Has to beat a 14. Nope. Eight. <laughs> okay. All right. So you I'm take so whatever sorry. effects of the sickening ray. That's that all right. It, what was it? That are required. Uh, uh, Esmeralda, deep. what happens with the sickening ray to him? Uh, he takes 16 points of radiant damage. Oh, okay. okay. And there's another part to that spell, unfortunately. Oh, yes. You have to uh, every turn. Yeah. I'm sorry, what suffer was it? one level. Uh, it's 16 points of radiant damage, and you suffer a level of exhaustion. Okay. And then you also emit a green light. Yay, I'm glowing. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> yeah. Good. Okay, Travas, you're up. In a five-foot radius. Good. Can I ask you who's on deck? <laughs> nope. Uh, I'm I'm going to. Um, sorry, did he kill it? Did he? He killed the first one. Oh, 
Okay, from my memory, uh, was the first one the one that shot the uh, ray? I mean, I guess they could both shoot the The first one ray. was the one that shot the firebolt. Yeah, I think either Second one of those could do that. Uh, I'm going to... Oh, this is this is a tough one. I want to pull Esmeralda behind the door. Okay. Because I think that he's going to shoot through and blast all these guys. Okay, so you grab Esmeralda and you try to pull her. Esmeralda, are you stopping him from doing this? Uh, and I is... Mm. I'm, uh, I... I, I I don't. I don't know exactly what, on what to he say, says. But, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I'm gonna say like, take cover from them, and and I want to get her behind the door. I can't save them all. Yeah, she's. Yeah. I, I'm gonna try to pull her behind the door. Okay. If he says take cover, that makes sense to me. Okay. That's so you fine. Allowed. Um, that is going to be your action. Actually, yeah. So yeah, that's that's my action. Okay. Uh, and you're just, behind the door. I want to, yeah, to yeah, get yeah, get yeah. like back. Where you guys want to be? Back there. Okay. Got it. Cool. All right. Sorry, Sterling. Sterling is. You are in the shot. <laughs> Sorry, um, buddy. Yeah. You're like, okay. Right. So at this point, but the also second our tank. Yeah. So. so this point, the second one takes um, 16 points of radiant damage. Mm-hmm. At the beginning of its turn, correct? 21. Oh no, 21. 21 points. Wait, I have, to, I have to look at the log. 16 was for Ludari. Um, let me get pull it up on the game log real quick. I, I think it was 21 points. Uh, yes, 20, no, no, no. 19. Yeah, 21 points of radiant damage. Okay. All right, and you watch as it, like, as it kind of, um, there's a bit of a, a, a explosion and it kind of, like, tosses it of radiant energy and it kind of hits it against the wall and it kind of, like, rights itself and it looks at you um, and a streaking well, doesn't not at her. No, just uh, yeah, well, yeah, Sterling sees this. I'm just saying what. Yeah, they see. yeah, yeah. Okay. So a streak of fire energy flies into the room and ignites in the room as a fireball. I, I duck behind. I'm in this. I'm in the the <laughs> harness. So I like duck about. behind Sterling. Like, oh my goodness, what is going on? <laughs> Wait. Can I counterspell this? If you have a spell slot available, you can. I do, for third level, I do. I will take yeah, it. Yeah, because that was our ready to action. That wasn't our turn at that point. Mm. Yeah. Oh. That we yeah. hadn't done another reaction. Yeah. Mm. Okay. I played. I will okay. counterspell that. All right, fizzles out. Oh. I just love Jay's waiting face. Like, are you gonna do it? <laughs> oh. Are you gonna do it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sterling, you're up. Dimitri on deck. Oh, oh, and sorry, and the skull, when, when that happens, it, it retreats back to the back of the hallway. Oh, um, is it still within view? Does yes. Spike get an yes. attack of yes. opportunity? Come on, Spike. Uh, Spike would get an attack yes. of opportunity, yes. Nice. And it moves <laughs> to the back of the room, so it's out of the sickening ray. Go, cool, Spike. Uh, field. Mm. All right. It has to be right that at the is... back in order to be out of it. Because it's a 30-foot radius. Hit. Sorry, it's a 30-foot radius? Yes. Yes. Go ahead, Omega. 24 to hit. That's a hit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yes, ma'am. Oh yes, ma'am. Uh, that is nine, nine, the twelve points of non. So I'll do it for you. Piercing. Six points of piercing yep. and uh, six points of force. Okay. I already done. I already did the damage for you. Already did the half for you. Yeah. So as it starts to kind of go back, Spike kind of reaches up and manages to smack it, and it kind yeah! of like teeters and rolls as it goes back. It is no longer blurring. That is done. Uh, and it kind of like tumbles back, hovering, and is kind of like having a hard time hovering at the back of the at the hallway currently. It's concussed. Sterling, you're up to meet your on deck. Okay, that's 25 and 21 to hit. Both hits. Oh. Total of 19 points magical piercing damage. Okay. Let's go. Ooh. And pff, it explodes at the back of the hallway. The light, the green light, goes dim in the hallway except for Ludari. <laughs> 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 Ducking, I, I okay. go it to is now, It is now quiet in the in the hole. For my turn, okay. I'll jump into the front of the door. Ah! ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, well done, well done. I'm gonna drop Sickening Radiance so that Ludari is now no longer <laughs> glowing green. Okay. So, yeah. I don't know what you did, Sterling, but that was pretty great. And, and I think your exhaustion ends too, right? Mm hmm. Uh, okay, that's I don't what know. It said the light goes away. Oh wait, light and any levels of exhaustion go away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when there you go. Excellent. Very nice. Thank you. 
Very nice. Uh, All right. Goes quiet in the hallway. All that is left is the charred corpse, the three doors on the left, and the double door at the end of the hallway. What do you do? Uh, so. I, I want to grab that that uh, staff. <laughs> mm. Okay. And so, right. having fought some of these, yeah. I'm going to turn to the party and go, who's, go who has holy water? Oh, let me oh, check. Oh, oh. Snap, I think I, I might, do. I might have some as well. I might. I do, I have some holy water. You need to sprinkle holy water on these or they will regenerate. I have some as well. Oh. Oh. I've got a little bit. All right. <laughs> okay, so you get, uh, who, who's giving him the holy water? Uh, I'll pass Ludari my holy water from the back of the harness. <laughs> okay, got it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if we need any more, I have some. Yeah, backup. you need two. That's enough. Uh, okay. Yeah, I have mine. Oh, okay. Right, uh, keep mine. So, take one off, take one off. You manage to sprinkle it on the remains and sss, they sizzle and vanish. The remains. Oh. Elder Ludari, what the heck did you learn magic? <laughs> we all have our little secrets. Ah, it's amazing! <laughs> all right. As Merelda, you cross the way to this staff. Yes. Um, and you pick it up. Oh. Hmm. You pick it up, I'm assuming. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> and it feels it feels cold in your hand. You feel the, the cold energy from your hand, uh, within your hand. Um, what do you do? Hey, Teravas, stick your tongue out real quick. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it only works Does on metal. <laughs> uh, and you don't get any sort of sense of what it's capable of or what it is. You can feel okay. that it's thrumming with magical energy. Even but... after Travas licks it? Yeah, even after Travas. Uh, what does it okay. taste like? Well, I will, I'll will. i hold on to it and see if I'm able to <laughs> learn anything it. from it as time goes by. Yeah, okay. So you, you put uh, it in your... You see start... Noggins yeah. staring at you, and he says, would you mind if I hold it? Oh, yeah, of course. Go ahead. And he just looks at it for a while. <laughs> yeah. I knew someone who had one of these, and it just, it was just bringing back memories, that's all. Oh. Would you like to hold on to it? I mean, I don't have to keep it, I guess, um, I just wanted to, be, oh. you know, just, I just want to go back home, so. Are you let's, all right? let's do this. No, I'm good, I'm good. Okay. Okay, I'm going to search the rest of the body. Okay. I'm going to look through the arrow uh, slit. Slit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just to see. If things still look the same, yes, there. it's still the same. What you can see, yeah. <laughs> is that the room you all were in before? Yes, it is. This, that room. Well, yes. we didn't really make it too far into the room. Oh, uh, yes. And that's the statue that almost finished us. Uh, honestly, we probably made it well too far into the room. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because <laughs> I died twice. That's what I mean. How did it's it almost far. finish you? It was able to shoot fire uh, through its. Statue face. It was very, very scary. Do you think we yes. can destroy it from in here? Through That's the slit? Exactly slit. what I was wondering. <gasps> yeah. hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I, I, I don't have the means myself, but one of you casters, maybe. That's me. I can do it. Do you think that this door on the end of the hall that goes to the right, does it go into the. Oh, well, it seems to. We're looking through the slits. <laughs> Right? So we can kind so, of tell. So yes, through the slits is this room. Yep. There's three doors on the left and a double doors at the end. Ah, uh, okay. But I there isn't one, I guess I what like I'm asking what is, happened. there's the hall, Yeah. three on that side. Yeah. There's not one going that way. No, You're slits on the right. Here. Yeah. Slits on the right, three doors on the left, double door at the end. Okay. Okay. All amber doors. So this door next to the slits is You this cannot one? see that. Door. Oh, oh okay. but there's no. Yeah, so that, that, I don't right, worry right, about right. this anymore. Right, right. We're outside of the map. Oh, now. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, that's what I want to clarify. Yeah, we have stepped Thank out you. of the map. Uh, sorry, anything else on this guy's body? Not that you can see, just what you know. Mm. It's a scorched, dead wizard. That mm. okay, Should we? <clears throat> do you want to try shooting this guy in the face from here? I mean, it might take a while. <laughs> I it is. Would he be able to fire back there? He would know exactly where the attack was coming from. Uh, I don't really want who do, to try it. Who do, the, who do they see? I must have missed They're something. They're looking through the arrow slits back into the temple at the big statue. That was shooting Oh, the big us. statue. Yeah. Gotcha. Hmm. I, I don't think we, we should try it. We should, 
probably not worry about that thing if it, you know, basically destroyed you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. If it's not actively attacking, maybe we come back. Yeah, that's yes. a good point. Take Perhaps care, we'll actually. also find that the Ember room um, is keeping most of the power inside. So maybe eventually we can try to attack it from the outside and maybe perhaps we'll not attack outwards. I don't know. I'm just speculating. Hmm. Let's uh, perhaps try those doors at the end. Uh, yeah. Uh, can I can I go and, and like look, at, try like listen to door number uh, one in this room? <laughs> I guess it's door number three. Like Can I go and listen two, to the first three. door? On the left. Look through it, look through the cracks, look through the yeah. people. Look yeah. through the Investigation the check, please. Ooh, natural 20. Ooh. Mm. Done. Very nice. This is my father behind that. <laughs> I go kill him. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> um, <laughs> with a natural 20, um, you are able to kind of see through. You have dark vision, yes. so that helps. Uh, you see in grays and in shades of gray, uh, stone blocks resembling tables stand in the center of this room, covered in dust. Carved into the stone walls are niches filled with hundreds of dusty bottles. Cobwebs hang from wooden ladders that lean against the walls. Uh, That's where we're going to take a break okay. for this evening. Ooh. Okay. okay. All right. At this point, we're going to go to break screen real quick, and then we're going to ask the Smith Guardians to join us for some quick announcements Thanks. about tides, And then, um, again, we're going to have a Patreon, a patron-only chat. Um, and, yeah, if you want to be involved in those, become a patron at any level, and you can uh, check out the Patreon chat channel for a link. Is that how it works? We have a, There's a link there to a voice chat and video chat. That is correct. Chat. And so it won't be too long. We'll be right back with the Smith Guardians.
Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, wrong scene, there it is. <laughs> uh, we're gonna do a quick, as mentioned before, we're gonna do a quick little um, chat about the upcoming season of Tides of Wild Mount. It has been some time. Don't even remember totally what happened last time, because it's been a little while. It's been a so minute. There's gonna be some review. But just so everyone at home knows, the Smith Guardians have been here as they are in studio right now, for the, since Thursday, we have spent a number of days planning and discussing and emoting and toiling <laughs> and... Um, emoting and toiling. <laughs> and, and all of that sort of stuff. And uh, we've come up with some incredible plans for the upcoming season of Tides of Wild Mount. Uh, Johnny was not able to join us all the way from uh, Britain, but he is here in spirit and he has been here with us all weekend, even at like, seven o'clock in the morning just to be able to be in meetings with us. We had a very interesting fun night last night. Uh, uh, they played some D&D. We went out and did some escape rooms. It was a blast, oh, but we also room. we got a lot of awesome work done. Um, well, Ant, uh, you guys have the chat in front of you? I have, you have Twitch. a couple questions? Yeah, I've got um, Twitch. We'll, we'll take a couple questions real quick. We don't have a lot of time, but I wanted to, more importantly, get the Smith Guardians on screen so that everybody can say a huge, massive thank you. These are the faces behind the personalities that bring all this wonderfulness to you. Um, show them all the love, please, uh, and the patience for our team, for us as, as awesome folks. I love you guys. You got you. You know what you mean to me. I'm not gonna get emotional again. Yeah, Shad sure. took it all. No. Uh, Aw, come on. Just but, a few tears. No, no, no. <laughs> but I just, yeah. Words cannot express. Um, Same. All of that said, so the plan currently for Tides is that we are gonna keep the Discord longer than the series than this season of Into the Mist exists. So Into the Mist is probably gonna go into November. Um, we're not sure how far into November, depending on how long it takes them to get through Amber Temple. <laughs> it took them like an hour to get through a hallway, so we'll we'll see how that goes. It was an intense hallway. It wasn't, not really. Not really. <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> they overthink things and it's okay. Um, and so, but the plan is to launch the new season of Tides early January. Not the first week in January because that will be the New Year's holiday here in Canada, uh, but that will be the case. Um, leading up to that, the Discord for Into the Mist will be open until when? Uh, right around Christmas, a week before, somewhere in that area. Somewhere in that area. Mid so a week, a week before Christmas, we'll go dark during Christmas, and then New Year's, we will launch with this wonderful new Discord experience. Let me just say to everyone at home that we have done a heck of a lot of work to address and hear all the issues that you've had. We've done incredible things it has been an incredible success so far and we have learned from those successes we have learned from some of the mistakes and we are bringing a really great experience forward that is unlike tides uh, sorry into the mist in the sense of we're trying new things and we are improving on old things that are working it's been an incredible experience um that said, I do want to let everybody know, again, that Gaziel will not be returning as a cast member, um, and, but Omega will be joining, which is happy. Um, Yay! Very, very awesome. We love Omega. We love Omega. Uh, love and you. he's a part of our team, and our and he's so freaking active in our Discord every yes. day. He is going to start running some sessions, is my understanding, some virtual quests for the community. Yep. Um, and he's a patron at one of our highest levels, which I can't thank him enough for. Um, and I see him uh, watching and listening and giving us faces in the Zoom, even Hi. though he's not on screen. We love you, buddy. Um, and drink it out of his fuchsia mug. Uh, and uh, also to say that there is quite the change coming. There is quite the change coming to the location. We're not going to tell you where the location is currently, but we will not be in Darkto. There's a huge reason for this. The big reason is because a large part of what we do in the Patreon, sorry, in the Discord, is that we follow the live stream experience. And we want you guys to be able to interact with the cast at times throughout the season. If they've now moved away from the Menagerie Coast, they're trying to get through the Wyun Gates into the Dwendalian Empire. And if that's the case, we can't have your characters in Darkto because it doesn't work. Yeah. So we have a really incredible, awesome new idea of where your characters are going to be. We will be releasing that information over the next couple months. 
Um, and as soon as the guide is ready, we will do a town hall sort of situation where we will talk through all of the features of the new guide and then answer questions and walk everyone through it. Um, so it's an experience to start new with new characters in an exciting new frontier. Um, and uh, that is, I think, it. They won't be keeping their... Characters. Characters. Yeah, we'll have to roll new characters. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. So you're, you'll start with new characters. They can keep their old characters in D&D Beyond if we ever go back to Dark Toe, yes. right? Correct. But the, you will be creating brand new characters that are not Dark Toeians, uh, that are not the same characters that you had previously because they are seafaring pirates and we are no longer seafaring. No more revelry. N- no more revelry. Well, yeah. They're the revelry still there. exists. They're still there. In Dark Toe. <laughs> But yeah, we are we are starting fresh, and trust me when I say, and I know there's probably a lot of feelings about that, but just trust me, and when I say, trust us, we have incredible things planned, and there's reasons, very very clear. We spent a lot of time this week and over the last number of months, and moving forward for the next few months to prepare this and to make it the best that we possibly can for our community. Yep. Because uh, yep. that is what we do. Uh, we're not here to make it difficult. We're not here to change things for the sake of not changing things. We are absolutely here to make sure that the encounter is what it is. Um, I don't know if we have time for questions, frankly, actually. But while we're going through in the break, if the Smith Guardians want to be on there to answer any questions that you're allowed to answer, (laughs) the operative word, allowed to answer, then feel free to do so. Um, And we will be back in a few minutes. Remember, if you want to be hanging out with the cast, in the Patreon chat, become a patron or jump into the Patreon chat channel. In Discord, there will be a link to a voice and video channel that you can all join and we can all chat. Okay? We'll be back in a little bit. Thank love you. Love you all. Bye. We love Bye. you. Bounce, 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 bounce. Welcome to Dwarven Forge. This is everything you need to know about our terrain in 60 seconds. Ready? Let's go. We hand sculpt our pieces for maximum detail and artistry, infusing passion into every millimeter of our work. Everything is available beautifully hand painted so you can start playing right away. Or you can choose unpainted to paint everything yourself. Our pieces are completely modular so you can use the same sets to create a new adventure every time. Most pieces have embedded anchor magnets that affix to our terrain trays for secure building and for revealing runes as your players discover them. We create everything out of Dwarvenite, our top secret PVC formula that's nearly indestructible. We pack our pieces with as many features as possible, such as swappable LEDs to quickly change the look of your scene. We offer magnetic accessories to add flavor or increase the danger. A one-inch tactical grid is sculpted into our floors, hidden in dungeon flagstones, natural rocks, or sticks and plants. In addition to sculpted pieces, we make terrain trays to use as a vibrant graphic base for your build. We offer a range of environments, including dungeons, caverns, cities, castles, sewers, forests, mountains, streets, burrows, ice, and hellscape. And that's just the beginning. We have a passionate fan base who can tell you all about it. And that's everything you need to know about Dwarven Forge in 60 seconds. The games we play are the stories we create. The fortress doors swing open. Every story is unique. And the sound of war drums rises. Sometimes our stories come to us when we least expect them. We need to be ready no matter where inspiration strikes. And sometimes our stories are told over great distances. No matter where your journey leads you, or how your story is told. The games we play are the stories we create. Sirenscape can help make yours epic. Sirenscape is searchable, fast, and customizable from any device with no need to pre-install any sound. Adding epic atmosphere to your game has never been easier.
Do you miss playing Dungeons and Dragons or just have a hard time finding a group in your hometown? Maybe you just wish you could play more. On Discord, we created a community of over 100 people who are playing D&D around the clock. I'm Noggins. Oh, see. CC. The other strong shield. Katarina. Elder Stevie Varbava Negra. Tayel. Daria. Kostas Morach. Elros. Falfur Softfoot. Kita Swartz Fine. Best Boy Reindeer. Misery Cordelia. Jordani Goril. Bonnie. Class Fascinate. Bregorn Iron Tom. Tom. Nabuti. Dimitri. Shalara. Barf Battlebrain. I'm Atomic Scray, mate. Shortly Frudari. Orin Greenstab. Melina Lee. Isesh Morses. Malachi Dupraki. Saras Glar Life Forger. Travas. Tamazar. Esmeralda Embershake. Elder Waddleby. Dustin Morses. A Morgan Reagan. Maxa Kitty. Sterling. By integrating Discord and DD Beyond, we're able to provide an immersive experience that is the first of its kind. You can create a character from 1st to 15th level and then roleplay 24-7 in our Discord channels while combating monsters, crafting weapons, training new skills, and searching for items across our canned world. You'll also have the chance to participate in random combat encounters and go on monthly virtual quests. Ever wanted to try your hand at being a dungeon master? Or maybe you're an experienced dungeon master and just want the chance to run more adventures. As a community DM, you can run encounters and virtual quests for the community based on monthly modules written by our very own accomplished plot team. Join us. Join us. Check it out. Join the Discord. Join us. Join us. And let's create incredible stories together.
Welcome back. Yeah. All right. I was in the middle of a dance break, and it was just so abrupt. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right. So as mentioned, you peek through, and because you rolled a natural twenty, was it? Yes. Um, I allowed you to see the whole entirety of the room, That's which great. was uh, stone blocks resembling tables stand in the center of the room, covered in dust. Carved into the stone walls are niches, yeah. or niches. Filled with hundreds of dusty bottles, cobwebs hang from wooden ladders that lean against the walls. Uh, uh, that's the entirety really? of the room? Yeah. The room is totally safe. The, the room... Well, sorry, hang on one second. <laughs> uh, I didn't say that. Uh, no, but it, you don't see any discernible doors in the room, and the ceiling seems about like out of sight from where you are. Okay. Uh, hey, really quickly, yeah. just because, shout out to the chat for reminding me and me also looking at it. Uh, myself and Sterling, per your words, during Aftermath, have inspiration. Yes. You oh, do. that's right. We do? Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Why did I give Sterling? Thank you. Because of the you role play? You said because of the good role play that we yeah. did during the, uh, the, the dreams. I did say that. Thank you. That's right. Oh, thank you. Of course. What do you guys do? Um, inside of this room are all the things that you just heard him say. <laughs> 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 okay, bottles and niches and a table, and it uh, doesn't look like any bad guys or bad women or whatever. Bad people? Bad persons. Persons. Yes. Would you like to go in? After you check it for traps. Yes, I'm going to check the door for traps. Yes. 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 Quick question, was that cloak intact or was it charred yes. to bits? Charred to bits. So maybe okay. good stone. Uh, mending, <laughs> right? Mend? mend? mend. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Mend? Un Unburn. Glory. Unburn. Glory. Unburn. Unburn. Uh, I'd like to investigate the door for traps. Yep, go ahead. Hold the uh, 21. Different camera. Uh, it doesn't seem to be trapped. All right, I'm going in. Okay. Very quietly. Uh, no, no, very quietly. Hold on, no. hold on, hold on, hold on. What? I said that in character too. There's three doors and a double door. Which one are you yes. going in? That's the right. first one on the left. Door number one, new number one. First door. So we went in through the door. There's a door to our left. That's, That's the door. The one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I got 21 for stealth for opening it. Okay. Okay. It opens up quietly, no sound. You now have an open door to the to this room. Uh, I look around from the door <laughs> some more, just yep. for... Sure. Baddies and bad things. It okay. doesn't seem to be anything nefarious in the room. The ceiling is about 15 feet tall, 15 feet high. I walk in towards the shelves. Okay. What do you do? <laughs> Look at the bottles on the shelves. And okay. Them. Investigation check. Come on, come on. I've lost my die. Holy, <laughs> Holy water potion. Something. Oh. oh, that was neat. Uh, 19. Okay, and where are you looking uh, specifically in the room right now? On the shelves, at the bottles, <coughs> just like at the at the at your level kind of scenario. I'd like to examine all of them. <laughs> okay, so you start to examine <laughs> some of them. <laughs> okay, and the ones that you pick up, and would you roll nineteen? Okay, um, the ones you pick up, it looks like they contain uh, dried up remnants of potions that lost their efficacy long ago. Any wet ones? Lots of old ones. You do notice though up one of the ladders, like off to the right of the ladders, and these yeah. are kind of like rolly ladders yeah, that you roll yeah. around. Up to the left, you see a, a, a potion bottle with red kind of swirling liquid. Aha! Uh -huh. ah. That is only one? That you see right now. I will bring the ladder over okay. and climb up to okay. retrieve it. Okay, what are the rest of you doing? Can't you just... Go ahead, Admiral. Seeing him doing that, can I make just mage hand just bring that down? Yeah, by the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you climb it and you look at the niche and it's gone. And Esmeralda currently. Oh. <laughs> okay. And I'm just like the mage hand back. is just dangling yeah. it in front of him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll climb back down. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> and you guys all know you, what a potion of healing looks like. Clearly, a potion of healing. Oh. Cool. Great. Yeah. I have a lot of these. I, you can hold on to it. <laughs> no. Are you sure? Because I was just going to hand it to you. Like, I wasn't uh, going to be that much of a jerk. <laughs> I, actually, I did use them all on us already. Um, no, I mean, I can hold ahead. on to it, but it's for whoever uh, whoever needs it. Uh, I'll hold it. Yeah. I'll hold it. Okay, what up? And we'll do the rest of you do. Anything? So, never mind. I was going to say, but he already did it. He already checked everything. I would check it. Uh, yeah. What else was in there? Sorry, you go. Oops, what else was in there? No, no, you go. So I no, I I got the two stone tables, niches, niches in the wall, 
if we want this campaign to ever end. Uh, okay. Uh, For the sake of brevity. Well, tables, tables have drawers. Tables, tables have no, writing. It's, they're just stone slabs. Yeah. Stone. Just stone slab tables, right. uh, um, probably used for looking at the potions, whatever, niches, lots of bottles. Okay. What he found was seem like, a potion of healing. It doesn't seem like anything else in here is like eye-catching, it seems like very boring random stuff. Investigation check. We had the magic thing going in the, in the first, um, like when we first started, right? Detect? Not yet, no, no, I, I would. Uh, I, I didn't get to finish it, then Spike came out. Um, ah, gotcha. So I will actually, um, my sickle will go to my chest and pull out this this veil of ethereal cool magic. Um, as I cast it, take magic. I'm not going to ritual cast it. I'm just going to cast it. Okay. Um, and Spike's going to go bye bye and go away. <laughs> um, um, and so you said investigation. Yeah, with advantage now. Oh, yeah, you 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 yeah. cast detect magic. So uh-huh. that's an investigation <laughs> with advantage, please. I am new. <laughs> 18. Okay. Hmm. With an 18. So the 19 minus 1. Okay. Hmm. So with an 18, uh, and I'm going to say with the detect magic, you look up, and in another of the corners, you see a aura um, of healing emanating from another bottle. And so I get necrotic, I get necromancy from that area, is what you're telling me. Uh, wh- why? Fun fact: Pure oh. runes is uh, some of some healing spells are necromancy, not uh, yeah. like other things. Yeah, anyway, exactly. no, I'm just yes, joking. necromancy. Uh, absolutely. I'll go. 100%. Um, there's something up there. Actually, I'm going to just kind of look over yeah. and like leap up. Okay. I'm going to try to leap oh. and try to get it. I can leap really high, y'all. And if he yeah, yeah. doesn't, by any chance, yeah. Oh, and I'll yeah. start wheeling the ladder over. Yeah. Acrobatics check. <laughs> Acrobatics. Yeah. Have you learned nothing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That is a Mathiana 19. Okay. So, yeah, you, you reach up, you're able to grab it out of the niche, and you come to the ground, oh. and it's another healing potion. It's another red, a reg, regular healing potion? Yeah. Red swirling oh. liquid. Literally okay. swirling liquid. They say you missed one, Travis. <clears throat> Good. I was leaving it for you. I'm glad you found it. That's yeah. not true. Don't lie to me. I did lie. You're right. Um, <laughs> we wanted you to get some aerobics in. Before. Uh, 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 that was really amazing. Uh, anything else you guys want to do? Go to the next door. Yes, check this one oh, here. Sorry. Yes. yes. I'm just. Oh, you're at the next door? Pointing to the next door. I won't. I'm not, I'm not going to. Uh, but I'll just usher you. Yeah, I'll check the next door. Okay. So you go out of this room, you head out to the second door. And you see. Uh, are you opening the door? I'd like to investigate the door. Okay. Uh, can I? Uh, I want to again peep peepholes, doors, cracks, whatever. Twenty six. Okay, with well, twenty six, you absolutely are able to see around one of the kind of areas of the door, uh, and this it looks like a twenty foot long, ten foot high hallway of bare stone. What? Uh, and it, there's an amber door at the end, a single amber door at the end of it. There is another <laughs> door at the end of a hall behind this door. It, may, it makes you wonder why they needed the first door if they're going to have another door. Um, I'm it's probably just late. Prevent the draft. Something unfortunate in between yes, those two doors. Things. But I don't see anything. Well, it's just a. Uh, what is what is it? Empty oh. hallway. Looks like a, a hallway to the other door. An empty hallway. Another empty door. Empty hallway. Hallway to a door. Empty hallway to another. No door. burning skulls or nothing. No burning skulls. Or when I come oh, over, yeah. does my detect magic detect anything? No. Are you well, wearing your glasses? <laughs> I do not wear glasses. <laughs> do you, do you, should I just like pat down these walls with a mage hand just to unleash whatever it is that's eventually going to kill us? Or that try is to? a good idea. You should do that. Uh, okay, so I'll uh, open the door. I'm going to check for traps on the door. Okay. 15. Okay. It's fair. Uh, you're pretty sure it's not trapped. Great. I open it quietly. <laughs> Natural one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it falls off its hinges. Oh my! <laughs> Onto the ground in the hallway. I was you, to add oil, and it echoes. But it <laughs> fell off. I may try and slap him upside the back of the head. No more slapping. You, you yes. wouldn't know who did. Oh. <laughs> What the? Is that another like amber door though, or is it all wooden door? Uh, it was amber on this side. It's like stone on the other side. 
Okay. Probably a fire escape. Uh. Yeah, fire, fire, so emergencies. A fire escape, what is that? So if something catches on fire, you can escape. So you don't die in your home. Come on, wait. Oh, it's next door. Like jumping out the window? No, it's like a door, it probably just goes outside. Okay. Uh, Sterling, can, can I get out for a I don't moment? understand what this is. Okay, do you want I, to go down this I, hall? I, I get out of Sterling, of the harness, oh. and I go, I'm, I'm just going to go to the door down the hall and check it. Well, so if anybody I'll walk should, down to which, the hall. Wait, just, just be careful. We can't trust I'm just going to start slapping, like, random areas of the walls with the man. I'm going to, just as she does that. <laughs> I can see, can I see? Yeah, I can see it. I'll just like, as the mage hand moves further up, I'll be like, okay, uh-huh, keep going. Yes, okay. okay. Investigation check with your mage hand. All right. So you're following that closely. Yeah, I'm just following closely behind it so that as it moves oh, up goodness. and bad things, I'm moving with it. Uh, investigate. Oh, go, oh, I'm so glad. Okay, because I rolled a 10. That is 16 with the... Okay, nothing uh, apparent. You reach the other side, which is a amber wall, amber door. Good yeah, to go, look. buddy. Good to go. Uh, thank you, back there. Um, I will. Uh, I will investigate the door for traps. Okay. Okay. And uh, and also try to find um, uh, if there's any hole or anything to look through. If that's okay. Is yeah. that two yeah, checks? Yeah. Or? Okay. check. Cool. Um, here we go. That's a twelve. Yeah. So you don't see the door looks like the others. You can see a sheath of amber with a uh, finely carved stone door behind it. Single door, not a double, but you don't see any sort of cracks around that you can see through. Lock on the door? No, nothing? just a handle. Just a handle. What do you see? Nothing? It's just a handle door. Nothing in there. Amber on this side. I see nothing crazy. I guess I'm just going to open no, it. Do you, want, do you want any help? Because uh, honestly, uh, I'm pretty good. Yes, good okay, point. Yeah, yeah, come good come down here if you could. So far. While this happens, while they're dealing, these are the three doors, not the double doors, correct? Yes. No, this yeah. is the this I'm, is the door down the hallway. This isn't even the third door yet. <coughs> we're at the second oh, door. Jesus. Yeah, okay. second door in the hallway. I'm still okay, suspicious. I'm still suspicious. Can I just look at the ceiling real quick? Yeah. Yeah, it's just 15 what? feet tall, 15 feet up. I don't know if it's the yes. height that she's wondering Carved about. stone. <laughs> Nothing up there that you can see. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Nothing up there that I can, okay, cool. No, all right, all no, right. Nothing uh, 17 to look through the door? Cracks? Uh, yeah, you see a dark hallway that extends and what appears <laughs> to be a staircase leading down. Uh, it goes down to the basement. It's a dark, very dark hallway stairs. Let's down. go check the other door. Other door, I yes, agree. Look at the other doors. Door yeah. one was great. Magic potions, this one. Number uh, two, this long one. hallway goes to basement. We have that. Okay, fire number. escape. You like exit this room, you go down the hallway a little bit. Just adjacent to the double door is the other third door. Okay, I investigate. Yeah. Uh, look through the door. <laughs> same routine, Ooh. 23. Okay, you're able to do the same thing. You find a little bit of a crack and you're kind of able to sort of look through and take in this room. Dominating this room is a 12 foot tall model of a dark castle with high walls and tall spires. Oh, my nice style. Behind it, Basically. tucked in a corner, are some ruined furnishings and a wooden chest. You can very clearly, especially being Barovian, tell that this is a model of Castle Ravenloft. There is a big model of Castle Ravenloft in here. Oh, my really? father used to make models. Wait. Maybe your father made this one. Uh, well, we, we might be able to get an idea really of the salty. layout of the castle. That's a very good idea, because we yes. do want to go there eventually and kill everybody inside. A single tear comes down Coffer's face. After Travis totally disrespects Coffer, his dad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, it's been going around a little bit lately. I'm going to investigate the door for traps. <laughs> 20. Nothing you can see. I will open the door quietly. Yeah. <laughs> 28. Nice. No problem. It's open with no sound. Uh, I, I look Before around the room Before he steps in, again. I'm going to place okay. a hand on his shoulder and go, One second. Okay, okay. Um, and I'm going to poke my head in and do I feel anything in this room with my detect magic? magical detection. Nice. Um, huh. Does detect magic go through objects? It depends what the object is. Wooden trunk. <laughs> Hell you. Um, it can penetrate oh, yeah. <laughs> most barriers, but it is blocked by one foot of stone, one oh. inch of common metal, a thin sheet of lead, or three feet of wood or dirt. Yeah, big money. That's not a three-foot chest. Um, 
you see the aura of magic in the bottom of the chest. Mm-hmm. Can I end it? I'm not gonna ask you, I'm not gonna be like specific because I know sometimes it's hard to think about like the classes, but do I get like a a damaging vibe? Do I get like a restorative vibe? <laughs> like what kind of magic am I getting, getting from that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh... Like, I don't want you to have to like, really think about it though. Like what just the vibe? Mm-hmm. Vibe check. Vibe check. That should be a stat. It should be a stat. Vibe yeah. check. Yeah. Roll vibe. Roll for vibe. Roll for vibe. Roll, roll a vibe check. Five point roll a vibe check. Five Your checks. vibe is damage. Or, yeah, it's a good one. Yeah. Um, your room. vibe is damage. <laughs> <laughs> you, What's you, your damage? Are we all in this room? Not yet. No, 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 no. just, uh, okay, just not in like, head. Let's not just gloss over no. this You're looking perfect through and he's looking model through, right? of the castle. Yeah. Okay. We're going to. I thought we were going to get back yeah. into before we went in and before Travaz was Travas, he just said, wait, and just wanted to mm-hmm. see if anything was in here. Yeah. Travas, I opened all the doors. I made the DM think, I'm sorry. No, it's okay, we're talking about all the other things. We can it's smell the burning. <laughs> <laughs> if you were in the room, you'd smell the crispiness as well. Mm. His brain is frying. This is a, fire resistant. This though. is a lot of research for a vibe check. Hey, one sec, one sec. Uh, I'm me. just gonna say, uh, you get the, the vibe <laughs> of knowledge, actually. <sighs> Oh. The vibe of the okay. Oh. Um, I like that. I'll say, um, and, but I don't get anything else in this room. Nothing else magical. No. There's like creatures, like nope. uh, invisible and like that. Cool, great. Uh, why not? You know. Yeah. I'll say, okay, you can you can go in now. I don't. Uh, I don't. More importantly, one last thing. Yes. And you said it's at the bottom of the chest. I don't think there's anything magical like a trap on the on the chest itself. You don't get the sense. I mean, mundane. Anything. Mundane is one thing, but like any like. Glyphs anything that's okay. I will take care of Monday. You seem to be the oh, yeah, I specialty. There's, there's, there's something there is something in that chest. Um it's very um smart, which neither of us are, so someone else should probably Which get one it. of you? Oh. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I, can I I I'm gonna be lying into the chest. <laughs> if you want to open it, you can open it. Mm-hmm. But uh, I think maybe at least I should check it out first. Listen, we could do this safely, and I can mage hand this, or you can, you know, I'll let you just do this and see what happens. Let us it might be locked. Hand, I'm though. gonna do it. Oh, dear God. All right, I am not gonna stop you. I will investigate it for you, perhaps. Twenty-six. Ooh. Yeah, you're pretty sure it's not trapped. No, nice. that's not a guarantee, though. <laughs> Pretty sure. Uh, mm-hmm. Is it locked? The DC was thirty. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. There's a, there's a latch on it. There's no padlock to the latch. I'm huh. gonna open it up. Seems the chest perfectly is empty. fine. <gasps> Nuggets. It's at the bottom. Which the who bottom. are we talking about not being so smart? Look, it's, it's at the totally bottom. Empty. I wave I... my hand around the bottom, and then I'll I'll move the trunk to the side. So, say again. You. I'm waving my hand around the bottom yeah. to see if I. And I'm like, it's yeah. empty, and yeah. then I'll push the trunk to the side. Okay. Is it underneath? No. Come on. I'm assuming my magic goes. Can I? <laughs> can I examine the bottom of the trunk for like a false bottom? Perception check. Perception. I hate this. I really like investigation. <laughs> uh, Twenty. You notice that there's a false bottom. Ah! And as you kind of click it, it pops click, click, click. and it opens. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, in it, you, oh, I wish I could show you this image. Um, I can't do that. Uh, it's okay. Uh, it's a red leather bound book, very richly made um, with the visage of what appears to be an older man with a beard. <clears throat> Santa Claus. Is that it? Does it have a title? It does not. Can I open it? You absolutely can. I open it. Okay. <laughs> and it's just the two of you in this room right now. Uh, I'd like to just open it to like the uh, I forward. Would've, I would have said like everybody can come in by this one. Oh, okay. yeah. 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 So this is it. And I'll, in fact, I'll, I'll pick it up and turn around and open it and show it to the people of the room. Uh, but again, table of contents would be helpful. Do I recognize the face on the book? Yeah, does it look like a uh, okay. Mm. I'd say a uh, I'd say history check for that. History. I Is will do that same check. I don't know why. Nineteen. That's why. Seven. <laughs> this is my homeland. Natural one. 
Serious? Oh. Yeah, for reals. Eight. It's your dad. <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> Daddy wrote the book. Papa! <laughs> Papa! Papa Noel! <laughs> um, so as you start to... Why? As you start to kind of flip through the book, um, you see that it contains um, what appears to be intuition and insight exercises. Hmm. Don't need this. Um, oh. Yeah. Really? I'm going to give it to sure. I, I give it to Esmeralda. This, oh, and this I will say happy birthday, Esmeralda. You know, I have so many words for you, but I'm not going to fight you on this if you're going to just hand this over. All you're right. Welcome. Well done. Good job, buddy. Hey. <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> you like do flipping. need the book. <laughs> what does it say on the inside? Inspiration. I'm, 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 I'm checking it now. <laughs> Yeah, it seems like almost like a puzzle book um, with like riddles and rule and and limericks and uh, puzzles and all that kind of stuff. Hmm. You don't say. All right. It's not very exciting. But does it look like it's anything specific to the Amber Temple itself? Yes. Does it seem like it's a, for this place or just a general? Or to, or to Ravenloft, since the model is here. Um, yes. Sorry, mm. who got the history? What did you guys roll in history checks? Seven. So uh, was I supposed to? No oh, Nineteen. Okay. Seventeen. Seventeen. Am I eight? Eight. Go ahead. CB knows what it is. Noggins is like Esmeralda? it's a buck. Am I? Oh, I'm supposed to roll. Oh, dirty twenty. Okay. So anybody over, I'd say a fifteen, um, and that would include Travas in that. Um, that. You would know it, it doesn't seem Barovian in make. Oh. Hmm. Um, it's it, it's exquisitely crafted. Uh, I wish I could show you the image. Um, Is it written in common? Uh, yes. Hmm. So it's it's not Barovian, like that's that's. Could I? All I would know. Julian, I sent you the oh. uh, what it is. Okay, and maybe he can bring it up. Um, anyways, yeah, I should have had that. Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, so. And anybody over a 20, um... Over 20 or 20 What over? you... What's that? Sorry, over a 20 Over a 20. 20. Who got over oh. 20? You had a 1. On I history check? That Esmeralda was you, right? Esmeralda, 20. 20 and up, and you got I a 20 I had a and up? dirty 20. Oh, okay, dirty 20. With the dirty 20, um, you've heard of a tome, a magical tome that would allow you to... It would, it, by reading it and studying it, would bestow wisdom upon you. And oh, no this way. may be that kind of book. <gasps> Remember, Esmeralda's the only one that knows this. <clears throat> what is it? Yes. What is it? Why the, why the reaction? It, listen, it's one of those things you, hear, you hear about here and there when, if you are a spellcaster and you study these things for a long time. You hear about these books that if you study them can, you know, you gain knowledge. But that's just like any book, right? <laughs> it's probably fine. <laughs> Slam shot. I'm a spellcaster. Uh, oh, just just, just, gonna, just going Esmeralda. to like tuck, tuck the book into my jacket. No, 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 like, no, but it's fine. <laughs> we'll worry about it later. It's like a lot of puzzles, like kids stuff. But you know, it's one of those things like a brain, it's supposed to like keep you from like forgetting things in the long term. Like, Wait, it keeps you memory. from forgetting things? I always forget things. I would, did I, I would say that? I forgot from. already. Can I borrow it when you're <laughs> finished with it? back into my jacket. We should look at the, uh, at the model. How much do we believe her? <laughs> 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 uh, um, well done. Can we? Uh, can I check like insight, uh, insight yeah. on her? <laughs> uh, yes, roll insight, and then as Marley, you can tell him what he, he gains from that. Mother, natural one. Good. Wow, so we're a rookie. whopping five. That's a <laughs> twenty. Kids book. So, oh. so technically, if you roll the five and I roll the five because of my plus four on my natural one, um, on my insight check, where's that land us? Sorry, said it. You both rolled a five. Hey, big head, can you sit back a bit? You both who rolled a five? <laughs> no, no, no I, five. sorry, I thought you said you rolled a five, as well. No, no, I was making fun no. of you for rolling. Oh, five. you're <laughs> making fun of me now. Well, what does he I'm get from rolling a five? Uh, yeah, no, you're, do, I, I'm is just it, gonna is say. It, is it checked against? You think that it's nothing. Uh, 
Yeah. You, uh, you're like, is it, oh, is, she's, it, she's, she's, yeah, is it checked against a deception of no, mine? Or no, I'm just going to say, okay. with that five, what would he get from it? I'm assuming he probably oh. believes that you're, you, it, it's actually nothing. Yeah, fine, like a puzzle fine. book, you know, when you go to pass the time and not like a crossword, and the, oh. you, you know, it's good for, you know, <clears throat> building memory in the long term. But, yeah, boring. You know. <laughs> you know. Exactly. Yeah. Nice. You would make an excellent addition to the library at Argonvoss, told though. Yeah, fine. I'm sure there's like probably like 10 of them already in there. It's fine. <laughs> not believing her. I'd recognize well, that face. check. 28. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Ezzy. <laughs> would you like do to? Do I roll a deception or do yes, I like just? Yes, I would roll a deception <clears throat> at this point. Okay. Because it's so All high, right. I would what roll I a do? deception. 27, I'm sorry, what did you roll? 28. Oh! oh! <laughs> All right. wow. yeah, so you absolutely don't believe her. Ezzy, would All you right. like to try again, please? <laughs> What do you mean? I'm going to send a message over to the <laughs> <laughs> message. I'm saying like, listen, just just give me this, okay? Because like I've been I've been spending my my entire life's work is trying to gain knowledge and through books. And you know what? Half of these jerks tried to destroy my Vardo with lit on fire. I lost so much books. I yes. need this. Please just give me this. Please just don't let just 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 give me this one. Just play along, please. <laughs> yes, I do remember when they literally destroyed your entire life. Yeah, yes. So he, he, he says this out loud to her <laughs> while she's talking. Into, it was what? whispering into a copper wire. <laughs> it's an ongoing work. <laughs> it's a message. It doesn't have to be loud unless he meant it to be loud. It, it says whisper. <laughs> it says whisper into a copper wire, the spell. So yeah, it, she was, she was going... So you don't hear what she's saying, but he responds, and that's what it looks like. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Just a peek. Yeah. I was I was saying just to like shout out the Discord. They wouldn't know that a a legendary character of mine had a variant of this yes. book. Yes. <laughs> yes, they're great. Okay. Um, can I take a close look at this model? Yes, you yeah. can. See what yes, you can. Yes, please do. Please this. let's just I divert kinda. all of this attention to. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. You all recall when we were here. Aren't you? No, I to the model. You guys went here? Yes. Why didn't you kill him? Well, we were we, sound. There was no way we could have at that point. Your dad yes. lives there. I'm sure you've been there. Does your dad live there? You don't know that my dad lives there. All you know is the rumor. That's what they said. They don't know either. It's a rumor. We really, they we were just spent. They just Definitely said we look the same dad. because of ears and hair or something. Cheekbone, I have good cheekbone structure. Very nice skin. Looks you deceive like for a living. No, I don't think we that. mentioned any of that. That was the jerk smirk you do when you feel like you've said something clever. <laughs> <laughs> that is also a bit of a smirk. What she said. There's a bit of a what? Smurf. <laughs> smirk. Smirk. Yeah, let's, let's just concentrate on the matter at hand. That's right. The building. <laughs> Where your dad lives. No, Where he does that. Jeez. Seriously. Oh, you're to yeah. investigate the, the, the model, the model castle. Trials yeah, goes give me an investigation check. I'll just look at it all that well. time trying to avert like spectral skulls, and you oh. think we could just walk into his castle and just, oh, we're just gonna take care of this now? That's a natural 20, so 26. Okay. Mm. 26 and a what? 10. 10. With a 10, you're like, oh, nice craftsmanship. Mm, With a 26, <laughs> um, you, it is a very detailed model of Castle Ravenloft. Mm. Um, so detailed, in fact, it's like Jason, uh, as that you, you imagine it was, yeah. Instagram no. account. <laughs> yeah, I know. It was, it was so detailed, in fact, that, that, that you imagine it was built possibly by the architect of the castle. Ah. And this is the, oh. this was the scale model that was built. Prior to the prior building. Prior to the, the building of the castle. Oh, no. I, my, my friends, this is, this is actually quite special. And I've seen this before. Um, you know, my father was a builder. <laughs> he was also a hunter, and he was also a, he, he liked to make jam. But, uh, <laughs> but this model is like what they make ahead of making the buildings. So every detail from Castle Ravenloft is right before us in this model, including secret passageways. Oh, yes, exactly. Entrances that we might be able to make traps. We should oh, study maybe this even carefully. Traps. Yes. 
Is there any way to record this uh, in our... Uh, is anyone a good drawer? Do we have any magic pants or anything? That a camera. <gasps> a <laughs> camera. I, I will come back in, and I, I'm going to grab what the trunk. a camera? And I pull the trunk over near the table so Falford can stand on it. Okay. Hmm. You'll be able to see better if you stand on this thing. I'll yeah, stand on the we trunk. Spend okay. a little bit of time here. I climb right over top and 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 do try to observe to see if there's any passageways that are like, you know, on the outside of the building. How long yeah. do you take studying it? Way, oh. Ways to get into the crypt. All of the hours. I, yeah. yeah, as long as it takes. Like, I'll I'll say. As long as it takes to get some in-game mechanic. <laughs> later. I, I'll say I'll say this. I'll say this. <laughs> To the, to the to the like to short rest. The, to the crowd. Be like, <laughs> I will if you'd like. I will investigate and look further until I, um, you know, maybe for the next hour or so, uh, to see if <clears throat> perhaps I can find something. Okay. I think we could take an hour and all of us like walk around yes. and try to absorb look what around, we can. Just memorize as much as possible. Mm-hmm. Is it like yeah. sectional, like like Dwarven Forge? We can like open it. Is it yeah, so static? you can yeah, you can like take things apart and look through it and look okay. inside it and so on. Yeah. I, I'd like overnight. to try to memorize traps. So like I'll take on a portion of the memorization. Mm. Right. So you guys take a short rest and investigate. Yes. Okay. Um, or and, yeah. in my own noggin Z way, because um, I'm not that smart, but I mean mm. I, again, smart versus wisdom. Anyway, um, what I would like to do is, as I'm watching it as well, kind of getting a view from the top when they try to look at it, I want to kind of recreate it on the ground with Juracraft, like almost making like a, <laughs> a, a mossy map. Yeah. Mm. Um, so that's, that's a way I can recall it. So is there some kind of um, check you would want me to make to just see how well I do in recalling this through what I create, like like copy paste on the ground? Yeah, okay. Mm. okay. Does anyone have like quill and paper or anything that we can... What's that? That sounds primitive to me. I don't have... Okay. Well, does anybody have that, though? Um, Are there any blank pages in the book? I have (laughs) some paper, I believe, in my bag. Uh, Let me just make sure here. Do I? You have paper? I... I have have nothing. I do not have a pen or a quill or a writing utensil of any kind. (laughs) <laughs> I have... Mm. <clears throat> no, I'm wrong. I have nothing. Mm. I'm an idiot. You are not that. That's a bad word. I'm a... I'm a but uh, it, it can be bad and accurate. Uh, <laughs> does anybody no. have ink? Nobody has ink? Charcoal? Nothing? Pieces, I, I don't. Uh, I charcoal. have a lot of... Unless they okay. are oh. somehow in these thieves' tools, I don't. I bring out some dried... I bring out some dried... I'll drew a craft some, some flowers that I'll instantly, like, wilt. Like like a, like a blue flower that's really potent. I'll crush it up as best as possible yeah. and literally make an ink for people. Yeah. While he's doing that, I'm gonna what run I out to do. the charred body and bring back a finger, like a charred charcoal <laughs> finger pencil. Interesting. Oh my god! From the corpse that was in the other room. That's right. This old charcoal finger. Um, I typically make oh. you make like a constitution check, but you're Barovian. You've probably uh, seen this, this before. This no so we'll let it go. This is uh, normal, <clears throat> yeah. normal way to write. Yeah. So if we investigate this thing <laughs> for an hour, yeah. is there any way we can I, we do identify, like, oh, wait, is, is, yeah, like a secret passage yeah, or uh, passageways and anything that's, you know, uh, other entrances into the castle that don't look um, normal. You know what I mean? In normal architecture, easiest route to get to the crypt. The, sure. you know. Okay, so I will say this: investigating it, you don't see any secret passages, and you imagine the reason that is is because they're secret and they wouldn't want to put them into the plans, <laughs> and they would probably do them while they actually. That's a stupid that idea. That checks out. Yes. That said, you <laughs> see all the clear entrances. And so next time, if you're in the castle or around the castle, you get advantage on history checks to recall information about the location. Well Let's noted, go. DM. Well noted. Advantage on history that. checks, yes. Oh, yes, we will all remember it. I'm writing it down. Oh, so that's why you write it down. I remind you many times. Okay. All right. Is there anything else in this room? And you all get the benefit of a short rest because you're just kind of looking at something. I'm going to say that awesome. you've also not taken oh. any serious activity. Well done. All right. Mm. Even Here's though you just long rested, but that's okay. Look around the room, see if there's anything else. Next. Investigation check. Four. You would only do that if you were about to die. Right. Except for the pile of furniture, which just looks like decrepit, destroyed furniture. Yeah, okay. 
Well, that leaves the stairway to the basement and the double door on the other side of the room. Do we split the party? No. No. (laughs) (laughs) Would you like to go check the last door? I mean, last door is in like the next one. I think we should. I agree. Okay. Just be careful. This one's a double door. Uh, I will check it (laughs) twice. All right. Mr. DM, I'd like to investigate the door. Uh, hey, see uh, what he threw it. Jay, really quickly. Yeah. I'm sorry, it got it got glossed over, but sure. I would like to like go back to it really quickly. Right. Yeah. <laughs> While we're sitting in that room and looking at stuff, you know, I'm not really the one that's most helpful. They're really doing all the plans. Yeah. Can I, not so accidentally, but accidentally attune to the staff? Yes, you can. I was waiting for that. Yeah. You need to focus on it to do it, so you can't do anything else. Yeah. But yes, absolutely, yeah. you're attuned to it now. You don't know what it does, but you're attuned to it. You need another I, short rest. I, I was. was the one who figured out what it was. No, I mean what it does. Like, you don't know its properties yet. Because it, it, it requires a short rest to attune, and then it requires a short rest to uh, learn. Yeah, that's what it said right here. I just read it. One second. Just want to investigate the door. Um, well, to attuning to an item requires a creature to spend a short rest focused on only that item being a physical contact with it. This can't be the same short rest used to learn the item's properties. I'm looking at... At the end of the short rest, a creature gains an intuitive understanding of how to activate any magical pro- Okay. Weird. I'm like... I'm in the DMs guy, that's weird. You're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Mm. Uh, hang on. Oh, wait a second, without becoming attuned to it. Okay, got it. So if you take the short rest, what I'm understanding here is if you take the short rest, uh, to attune to it, you also get the properties. But you can just do a short rest to find what it is without being yes. attuned to it. Yes. In case you have another attuned oh, yeah. item on, on your person. And you don't want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Either. I am. I am a. Uh, like, yeah, you can do so yes, up you can now yeah. add. I'm attuning the, the, to. Yeah, you can add the staff of frost to your. To your inventory, and you now have and know the properties. And I might not keep it, but I'm attuned to it in the front act now. Yeah. Mm. Go for it. Natural twenty. <laughs> Natural Stop. twenty. Whoa! Ooh. Wow, you. It's been a good night for investigations. Ish. Uh, not ish. for stealth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not yeah. performance. <laughs> yeah, not performance. Not stealth. But not been a good night. Speaking yeah. about the yeah. investigations. Yeah. yeah. All right. Sherlock Holmes. Um, you again managed to look through kind of the the space between the two doors where they meet, um, and you see a room that is. Um, yeah. The, the door is on the end of the room, on the kind of southern wall, and it's a rectangle heading this way. So you kind of look in like this, and you just see the edge of what appears to be a dining room table. Uh, torches and sconces light, uh, illuminate the table, and covering the table, what you see is the edge of plates with what appears to be food oh, on it. Um and you can smell the smell of rich cooked meat, sweet vegetables, and piping gravy and wine coming through this slit in the door. Um, Mm. And considering your mom fed you like wolf stew for your entire life in the village of Barovia, I'm not saying you're led to it in any magical way, but it's like, wow, this smells incredible. It smells amazing. Yes. Everybody. Very good news, very bad news. Mm. There is a big room with a dining room table, and there are candles, and they're lit, right? Yeah. Lit candles. Most the torch- delicious. The, the room is lit, lit with torches. Smell it. I'll press my nose like to the crack it's between lit. the two. The door smells so good. There is so much food. It's already hot. I run up to the door no, and no, no, smell. No, 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 smell. Oh, my, smell. I run up to the door and smell the way he, he smells. <laughs> Oh, this is very, very good. Well, people are ready <laughs> for dinner right well, now. Is that all? Is Why that... don't you just eat your rations and leave this alone? I'm only telling you what is in the room. Right. This is going to be like the pies. No, but remember, Sterling, when you were still a real boy and you had flavors? But, but, uh, Do you remember those days? It doesn't be... change the fact that I've got no stomach now. There could be people mm-hmm. behind the door. There could be people waiting, sitting, ready is, to meet. Is it, is it just one room, or the doors leading outward? Uh, I think there is. You said I could kind of see another set of doors? Um, I'm going to, um, no. just because once it was done, I'm going to recast Detect Magic just to make sure I have it up as we traverse. 
um, as we traverse um, oh, this area. Um, you did so, it. So um, I did it. So anyway, just so you know, that is back up. So as okay. I, and when we go into any room, I yep. want to see if I get any vibes. Okay. Five you, check. You see another door on the right wall in the room. Double door. Nope. Survival check. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's not natural twenty. Wow. What's it? Um, so can I get a set those? of those dice? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These are different. Armory. <laughs> um, those doors are definitely the doors that head back into the temple, at the back of the temple. You kind of track your steps, yeah, yeah, distance. You have a really good understanding of where you are. You can yeah, tell that those are the yeah, doors yeah, to go back. Those are the doors that go back to the temple. I'm going to take this mm. moment when we were doing uh, um, mm. our resting to uh, use arcane recovery. Before we get into this, yeah, sure. Uh, get back some spell slots. I don't know if we should go in here. I, I mean, if there is dinner ready, it's probably not for us. And if it is, then we are really in trouble. I think, I yeah. think my my instincts are wanting to take us through the middle door, down the stairs. I hate to agree. I also hate to agree. Could we not have? One piece uh, of the meal uh, at, the, at the table, and at this point, you guys are all inside, just outside the door, and you can smell those smells kind of wafting through. Yeah. Seriously, uh, it's not really good. What do you think? He's eating his rations. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I, I look Eyes to, on the prize. I look to Travis and I go, my friend, you could easily get to that table, get some food, and bring it back. Of course, I could. You see, I mean, you see, Noggins uh, uh, wave his hands. This. Um, and some, <laughs> some carrots are going to form. These go, I got more vegan bacon for you if you want it. Oh, <laughs> nobody wanted it. It's no. <laughs> See, no, it's del- I'll grab a vegan bacon. It's I, delicious. Okay, this, crunch it. This is clearly a threat, but like, I mean, maybe we can grab something no, real fast. That's the spirit? It. No, no, no. That's who the would have prepared this oh, meal? Me. And who did they prepare it okay, for? Well, that's true. Exactly. That's true. Yes. Okay, Ezzy. Why not use your mage hand, go in there, just grab a turkey leg, and bring it back to us through the door. It smells like Yeah, what's the harm in that, right? (laughs) There's no harm in that, is there? There is probably maybe some harm that somebody will see a floating (laughs) piece of turkey going back to the door. (laughs) (laughs) It's just a floating turkey leg. There's been like weirder things that happened in this place, I'm sure. We just saw two burning stones. Why are we gonna die from hunger right now? Okay. (laughs) Honestly, we we cannot go in here. I know often I have bad, bad ideas. But this food was probably prepared for Rahadin. Would you want to eat your father's meal? No, what? Or it was made. No and no. To mm-hmm. trick people, to poison them or charm them or exactly some you're horribleness. You've become so cynical in your old age. Well, it wasn't me that ate pies what made of children. Listen? I already said we shouldn't go. Oh, bird! I said let's not go in. It smells delicious. We should go <laughs> to the doors to the downstairs. Okay, yes. how about this? I'll be behind I'm not you guys. For you, this no, you guys go down the stairs. I will be right there. <laughs> From what I hear, that is not true. <laughs> <laughs> How about this? I think I, we're all just feeling a lot can, of stress from constantly are, almost listen, dying. Everybody wants to exactly. eat. Exactly. Of course we all want to eat, but... How about, how about... We come back at the end. Yes, exactly. We'll vanquish all the enemies, hmm. save everybody's dead die. sisters, and then come for some food. Yes. We'll die doing <laughs> what we love. Do all that work and then come back and die. And eat. <laughs> Eating. Eat. Die and eat. Uh, okay. Diet. Fine, we'll go to the <sighs> freaking. No, I know, you're Let's right. Go the doorway, 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 If you're really that hungry, I have things for you. You just don't want to eat it. That's, right. That's called greed, not necessity. Nobody's that mm-hmm. hungry. Okay. Thank Carrots you, Carrots will never be bacon. That's... Undeniable. I agree with Ezzy. I mean, you can make bacon nuggets out of carrots all you want. They will never taste like bacon. (laughs) Bacon nugget. (laughs) A a full stomach is a full stomach. No, it's not. That's not true. But... (laughs) Uh, you don't uh, know. I'm going to reach into my pouch. 
I'm going to grab a seed. It's going to become an apple. I'm going to bite into it and just keep walking because you yeah. disrespected my food. <laughs> <laughs> Never cooking for you again. Yeah, he said, he screams out in Sylvan, which now only foul freaking here. And that's somebody else speaks Sylvan. Yeah, I'm never cooking for you again. And I keep walking. As, as Noggins walks off, I'm like, that's so rude. Why aren't you sharing? <laughs> <laughs> I don't okay. know what he said, but it sounded angry. Are we, we're going to walk towards the, the basement stairs? <laughs> yes. Okay. I am going to ask Nuggets as we walk, if I gave you, like, the seed of a chicken, could you turn it into a chicken? You mean an Oh, nobody egg. has had the talk with him. <laughs> oh, you poor baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. um, so, chicken... It's not um, a bird that's a seed, you idiot! <laughs> right, but the, the question still stands. I don't care I'm, about the terminology. Evie, I'm sorry, he wasn't ready for that. <laughs> In order for a chicken to grow from a seed, it needs something to... Um, <laughs> okay, uh, Nuggins, no, seriously, do it, don't, Nuggins. No, this don't is do the it. Question. It's not, it's not worth it. He won't understand, anyways. <laughs> do you know the answer, Mr. Falfer? I am a magic guy. You don't know. Yes, do I you do. know if Mr. Nuggins could take a chicken seed and make a chicken? Do you know? You don't know. <laughs> I do know. Oh, no, no. But it begs Jeez. the question. Wait. Which we know. Came first? We know. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly not the chicken seed. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> How deep do you need to plant a chicken seed? Honestly, I will lean over to I and say, I will grow you a chicken seed. I'll grow you a chicken from a seed. Yes. Give me the seed. Uh, okay. <laughs> When I get one, I will come back. That will be a journey that never ends. You don't even have one after all this? Well, I'll carry chicken seeds. This whole time. <laughs> well, then why ask? It's frozen here. You can't plant a chicken seed. Let's go down the hallway. Well, I don't want any food hallway. anymore. We Let's just go down those stairs. Yeah, we're, we're walking and talking. We're almost at the basement right. door here. So chicken yes. pecking at seeds would be cannibalism? <laughs> <laughs> I check the door for traps. Okay. <laughs> oh. Uh, 16. A little distracted this time. Pretty convinced. Very convinced. That, that I open it. <laughs> that there are traps. Super <laughs> silently. <laughs> With a 17. Okay. Uh, it opens up, and it opens up into a 10 foot long staircase that goes down. Right. Uh, and there's another landing, and you can tell that it goes off to the left, down further. Right, I walk That's right, there's a thick dust covering that covers the stairs. It looks like it hasn't been disturbed in a long time. Very old mm. stairs, probably just emergencies. When we get to the bottom, I'm gonna peek left before we all move around in as a group. Okay, you guys all moving quietly? Oh, well, we're so quietly. Are, 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 are we testing the steps I, I in the area? The stealth checks. Silent. I was just running down here. Good question. Do I still smell the... No. Oh, darn. Uh, as we go down each step, I'd like to make sure that it's not one of those magical steps like outside of Argovost told mm. which shoots flames of death in their faces. I have detect magic still up if it is. 22. Nothing magical. 22. Doesn't seem to be trapped. <coughs> right. You all, uh, stealth the checks? Stealth 18. 17. Anybody under a 10? Five. Oh, oh I, got I got a nine. So I was active we were stealthing it. Oh no! I'm gonna use uh, lucky you fur because I remember we I have, have that. Heavy armor. Oh, I'm going to <laughs> roll that again. Okay, it works does a in combat. Help? No! <laughs> no. No. Oh. Well, it helps you. I'm not rolling digital <laughs> dice anymore. Yeah, it helps you. Okay, so. Oh, but you used your unlucky, didn't you? You head down I used, three. Yes, I used one of them. You head down three ten foot lengths, uh, uh, oh. lengths of stairs. Um, <laughs> With three different landings, two different landings, yeah. three stairs, until you come down into a large chamber. Is it this Deep. large chamber? No. Okay. Or, or, or. <coughs> Just uh, goes down uh, into this chamber. It's like, no! <laughs> <laughs> Oops! <laughs> All roads lead to. Yeah. Let's just go get the food. Last <laughs> 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 <Okay. sighs> Okay. There's a lot of rooms in this place. Uh, I, Glistening uh, amber coats the walls and ceilings of this enorm enormous hall-like sculpted honey. And sorry, let me start again. That was wow. You're good. Hey. That, wrong that, emphasis that, that, on the wrong syllables. Uh, glistening amber <laughs> coats the walls and ceilings of this enormous hall-like sculpted honey, and dust covers the black marble floor. The vaulted ceiling is 20 feet high, set into the walls at a height of five feet are amber ledges hmm. lined with life-sized alabaster statues of cats, dogs, frogs, hawks, 
owls, rats, ravens, snakes, toads, and weasels. Pets, some of their Many of the statues have fallen off their perches and lie shattered on the floor. The amber door in the north wall stands open. Four other amber doors to the west and south stand closed. Just to give you an idea of how long this room is, you come in on the end of it. 120 feet, so 10 feet to the right is a wall with a door. Then it goes 100 feet to the left. Wow. And there's three doors on that. There's a door at the end that's slightly ajar. And then all of the alcoves are across. Is it dark in here? Yep. So whoever has dark vision can see 60 feet down, but yeah. whoever else, we can't, you're so we right. can't Sorry, see. Sorry, you are correct. I, I have 120, so I can so see. You can oh, see so you can see. And there's a large hallway too. in the center mm. of this big hall that leads out. Out. Like, in the direction going east. Looking at the cat and dog statue, mm-hmm. I must say, I understand why he chose to swallow the frog. <laughs> do I do I think the animals no have any significance, or are they just different? Say again, sorry. What was that? Travas! Um, so sorry about the- do, I think, <laughs> do I think the animals have any significance or just I just like animals so I'm going to decorate this place with animal statues history check mhm mhm whoa 17 yeah with a 17 um it's so um strange and weird that you don't see any purpose for it like you think it might just be decoration and from where I am, nothing emanates. I mean, I don't know if we're close enough to them, but nothing emanates any magicalness from them. Not in this whole hall. Okay. Can we? Can, we, can you say this again? There's a hundred feet to the left. There's a door at the end. There's little cubbies of yeah. statues. Yeah. Uh, straight ahead of us. What's straight ahead? Straight ahead so is ten- cubbies until a large hallway that leads east, like leads yes. to the left. On the wall ahead of you. So there's the yeah. does the door. So there's a hall straight and a hall left. Yes. The the, the room that you're in is a big hall. Oh, okay. Mm. Right. Which is thirty feet across and yeah. a, and out of your vision you can see to the end. There's a door ajar at the end. Okay. They're all amber doors. Oh, it's ajar. Oh, it's open. There's three doors on the left wall, and oh. there's a door right kitty corner to you on the right wall, which is ten feet. Over and 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 ten feet up. I'm gonna ask something just for clarification. Yep. You say there's a door that's a jar, a door that's a jar, and then three doors. So it doesn't make that four doors in the area, or there's three doors and three doors, and one of them is a jar. Is it three and a plus uh, an open door? There's five doors. Or is it? That's and what, one you. hallway. I, I, that's and what one I thought. big hallway. That's what I thought. Five thank doors, you. one big hallway. Do I get a sense yep, thank you. from going down the stairs, down the stairs, down the stairs? But those three doors are under these three doors. No. You get the sense that the big hall leads back into this room on the bottom level. Okay. Oh. Is that the door that's ajar? No. <laughs> that is the hallway. Okay. Yeah. You got it. Okay. So, we need a cartographer. Looking around just to be safe, because we're here, there's like you said, 10, fr- 10 feet in front of us to the right is a door, and then that's everything else to the left. Um, can I go to the one that's on the left, on the right? Hang right on one sec. Sorry. Uh, to the right, the door that's kitty corner to you, that's 15 feet up, mm-hmm. is an amber door. Looks the same as the others, but it is emanating a protection magic. Uh, why you the the one the one? I go. I don't like that. <coughs> Dispel magic. Get off of there. What? Okay. Elder Lardari, do you care to lead the way since you've been spying here for so long? Oh, I have no problem with that. Um, I can't see anything. Just quick, because I'm not going to look it up. Arcane lock. You can dispel that. I'm pretty sure I can d- d- dispel let me just check. arcane lock. But let me uh, just... It, it, it might be a higher level. No, it's a second level. Uh, Yes, it can be dispelled. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, I have a... I have I, a- I'll go... And I'll just go... We've been encountering lots of doors that have been not trapped and stuff, or not locked. That one was, and I got mad that it was, so it's no longer locked Makes sense. with magic. But is there something in it that we should be preventing 
uh, entry into that door? Well, it means the other side is important, I think. Ah. Yes. Maybe we should start there. I'm going to take my hooded lantern and I'll ignite it, and I'm going to hand it to Esmeralda, who can't okay. see. Okay. Oh, thank you. And the hall is lit. <clears throat> should we be then entering that door? Yes, from us. So, and now, just yeah. for, for clarification, bright light for 30 feet and dim light for another 30 feet. Lantern. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, it's hooded, so you can actually adjust it. Um, it depends on how much light you want, Esmeralda. Uh, I don't want it to be so bright that like somebody from another room with an open door can see us coming. Okay. Yeah, it can be down to a so, five-foot like radius. Yes. Like a five-foot radius? Yeah. Yeah, that works. Kravas, if you will do I'm going to try, oh. Do you want to be yeah, I'll go, I'll go. Uh, it's it's mm -hmm. not trapped magically anymore. At least it's not locked magically, but you might be able to check if it's um, not magically oh, locked. Oh, you want me to do this one? I think so. You, oh, I don't yes. want to steal all of the thunder. Oh, of course not. This one is all your thunder. Oh, yeah, thank you. <sighs> what a okay. All right, I'll go to the door. Okay. Investigation. All right, give me an investigation check. And 46. sorry, and, and this is the one that is directly to the right of you that was arcane locked. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 26. You don't seem to be that's, locked. It doesn't seem to dope. be trapped, sorry. Okay. Any cracks to see through? Um, no. This one is sealed. There is no crack around it. It is sealed shut. Okay. So I'm going to relay. Okay. It's not appear to be trapped. But there's no, it's completely sealed, no way to see it. Well, it was mm. magically locked, so perhaps May again. Chance. All right, everyone. Danger? Yes, be on your guard. Yes, I'll Hi. prepare, I'll pull out both my crossbows, okay. my hand crossbows. Okay. And I'll take the sword. Yeah. I prepare my bow. If anything comes out. <laughs> yeah, pretty much anything, yeah. any living anything. Mm -hmm. okay. Just getting an arrow. I'll, I'm going to prepare a witch bolt. Okay. I hope you brought the good stick. Yeah. <laughs> so while they're doing that, I'm going to step back a few feet. Mage hand, open the door. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, Here we go. What's the strength of your mage hand? What can it push? I think it's 10 pounds. Not enough. Not enough. Ooh. All right. Anybody Solid. else have mage hands? <laughs> uh, for what, what, for uh, what is the purpose? For what? Opening what is the, the door. To? Yeah, the uh, door is too heavy for mage hand. Ah, uh, I mean, I can cast knock, but they'll know we're there. <laughs> why don't so you just let me open this it? Group is, they yes. already do. Sterling, uh, yes. Why, do, why don't? Why doesn't the guy that can't shoot open the door? Why I mean, doesn't the guy with good dexterity open good the door stopping. so we can jump out of the way if something comes? Oh, through. I thought you were like a set up right, for I'll a joke. Do like, why does not? Do that? Okay, never mind. I wasn't referring it's fine. to you. It's the day of the boss. I have it. I will go and open it. I have it. No. Oh, you meant you? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. You had. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna. I'll open the door. Okay. Carefully. So you, so you open it. It doesn't necessarily take an athletics check, <laughs> but it is a heavy, heavy door. This door has not been opened in some time. Um, oh and it, damn! This give is me a stealth check. Oh, nice. Gimme, gimme. 28. Okay. Uh, even though it's heavy and hasn't been opened in a long time, you managed to open it with hardly any sound. As it opens, you all look into this room. A large boulder comes rolling down. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Let him have his moment. Rocks fall. <laughs> they die. One big rock. New character roll. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh-oh. The room is shaped in the shape of a cross almost like a, like a cross like this okay. 30 feet across <laughs> 30 feet this way basically 10 feet in the middle with 10 foot alcoves mm -hmm. at all the corners mm -hmm. you come in on one of the alcoves on one of the the areas okay the room is amber glazed completely all the way around floor of grayish marble with black veins and three amber sarcophagi stand in alcoves nice. immediately noggins and Dimitri recognize these from your visions. And the light of the hooded lantern kind of glistens off the edge of the sarcophagi. You get the smell of mustiness, like this door has not been opened in a very long time. Travas, immediately when this door opens, you get the sense of home. 
And not only home, <coughs> but you get the sense of your mother. And being raised, and the care and the love that you experience in her presence. Um, and as you kind of look into the room, you can swear you see the reflection of your mother's face and visage off the center <coughs> one directly ahead of you. And you're not, you're, you feel drawn to it. You feel a warmth coming from it. You feel that motherly sort of embrace come from this. Everything that encompasses <coughs> what your mother means to you kind of washes over you in this moment. I walk towards it. How deep are the alcoves? Uh, they're 10 feet deep. So there, it's a 10 foot alcove, and there's a amber statue that's just a little bit small, um, amber um, kind of column that's just in the center of that alcove. Yeah, I put my bow down and I, I start to walk towards it. Noggins actually begins to walk inside to looking at this art, looking at these things. Remember, we're also trying to see what's inside because. He's remembering things. The, the amber and column. I'm following carefully behind noggins. Is that Oof. familiar to me? The sorry, amber. sorry. The amber column. Yeah. All the amber columns are, are are similar to the ones you guys saw in your dreams. The make, the shape, not exactly, but they're all similar to that. Okay. Okay. So you all kind of walk in. Travis, what do you do? I'm walking towards that. You, you the one that your brother? Of, yeah, 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 yeah. That's kind of radiating that presence. Yeah. I will walk straight towards. Yes. Can you can you clarify the the amber columns versus the sarcophagus, the sarcophagi? Um. So. Th- th- there's they stand like columns. Yeah. Um. But you heard that they're sarcophagi. You heard that the, the amber columns hold these p- ancient gods in their brace, and that's why they're called sarcophagi. But they're basically like raw amber, or carved amber columns that stand about six feet, seven feet tall. And are they solid? They're kind of clear in the center? Yeah. Clear? Yeah. Like it's, it's well, it's it, it gets hard to, you can't see right through it, but light passes through it. It's solid yeah, amber. Yeah, I'll walk straight up to it. Mm-hmm. A crevasse? Um, what are you doing? Yes. And, what of, and what? Do, what is, so? What do I feel at that point? Like I'll, I'll walk till I like. Yeah. The closer you feel, and you see um, a familiar hand press up against the inside yes. of the of the sarcophagus, and it's it's unmistakably the hand of your mother. What of these? Do the rest of us see it? No. Okay. Uh, yeah, I. Uh, much as I don't want to, I will go up and place my hand on it. What do you okay. Travis, All of a sudden, you, you watch as Tervas puts his hand <coughs> against the sarcophagus. Noggins, this immediately triggers the memory of you doing the same thing in your dream. All of a sudden, you're transported in your mind to a tavern. It's a it's the blood of the vine within the village of Barovia, and you remember that from time to time when you were a child, that your mom would take you there on very special occasions. Maybe once a year, because that's the only time that you could afford to eat there. And it was for your birthday, once a year. And there are people sitting all around you, and your mom, it, and everyone is, is, is in grays, almost grayscale, but your mom sits at the table that you always sat at. It was the, you, you would wait till people would leave, so that you both would sit at this very, very specific table. And there's almost like a shaft of light that is illuminating her. She is full color, everything is grayscale around you. And there are people all around you. Your mom sits in front of a table and you start to kind of walk through the room and you realize that nobody knows that you're there. Almost like you're on a different plane or that you're so careful and you're so quiet and you're so stealthy that you could do whatever you want in this room. And as you walk through this room, you're like, you see a chain hanging off somebody's neck and you're able to just go up and just, and just pull it off. 
and they just continue mulling around. And everything is really muffled. The conversation is muffled. And you place it in front of your mother and she smiles. <coughs> and you just start to do that around the room. And you start to take coin, coin pouches out of people's pockets. And you just start to mill around, gathering this, this virtually a hoard of belongings and treasure in front of your mother. And the more you give to her, the happier she gets. The more proud she is of you. <coughs> In that moment, you get a sense. The room pauses. And you have the feeling that in that moment, you could have unbridled ability to move without being noticed if you accept it. And in that moment, you feel like a gift like you've never had to bring untold wealth to your mother and to yourself is yours if you want to take it. And that's where we're getting the session for this evening. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Thank you, Shad, for playing with us. Thank you to the Smith Guardians here who are upstairs and all the hard work this weekend. Welcome to the Amber Temple. Uh, I will be a game hole. If you're going to be a game hole this week, please let me know. Please send us a... <laughs> I can hear this <laughs> Guardians <laughs> cheering above. Um, it was delayed, clearly. Yeah. Um, if you are going to be a game hole, let me know. Um, we are, as I said, streaming live from the show with a number of awesome, really awesome people, including Six Sides of Gaming. Check out their Twitch channel. Check out their YouTube stuff. It's really, really great. Uh, Lillard is running Purple Worm Kill Kill, and Satine's running some stuff in the channel, too. It's going to be awesome. Um, make sure that you share, that you like, do all that stuff. Show us love so that we can show others love. Love you guys. Take care of yourselves. And we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye.